Yo. Hello. Oh my god. Hi. More limbus today. Woo! Yeah. Um. The rest of the season pass got unlocked today, so I got a lot of stuff today, so that was cool. Uh, I also made a new theme for today. I think it might have been better if I just used this earlier. But yeah, now I have... Wait. This. You know, I will be using Potential Man and just like a sinking theme with like the new identities, you know, the three new identities. But that reminds me, I actually want to equip the new Ego. I can probably even get it to Uptie 3 right away, because why not? I can probably get it even to Uptie 4. Like, I definitely can. You know what? Sure, why not, right? Um, who, Do I have, like, everyone who I plan to use equipped with Ego? I don't plan to use you. Uh, I plan to use Faust. Yeah, Faust doesn't have these two. Heathcliff doesn't have his new ego. I don't even know what it does. I didn't look. <laughs> what is before the king? Hmm. When this unit attacks with one attack weight uh, hits. When this units attack with one attack weight hits. Oh, right. Next turn. Uh, inflict 50% of the damage dealt as affinity to the Attack skill used to hit. Damage against two enemies with the least HP that can be attacked. That's very good. Right? Or at least it sounds fun. Oh no. I guess I have to use few of the boxes. Let's say like 50. Oh, uh, heat cool if that's this right here. Wrong thing. Okay, so now it has attack weight 7, still inflicts this, gets attack power up. That's... Oh, wait. I just noticed the thing at the top for free turns lose 10 SP at the turn start. I mean, that's good for potential, man. And then, like, sinking tremor combo. Uh, okay. What what is on the Altis one? Uh, against attack weight uh, up to seven. Uh, Tremor loses SP as well. That's kind of cringe. Oh, okay. I just now noticed it does only cost 10. It's buff and it only costs 10. Plus uh, another 24. But uh, that's better if it does like, you know, over multiple turns. That's, I think, was uh, Heathcliff's thing similar? Uh... Yeah, it also only costs 10. Okay. Okay, it costs real so low sanity. I guess that's good then. Uh, anyways. What is this? Amplitude conversion. Oh, right. I know what it is. 
Uh, do I? Yeah, right, okay. Tremor Fracture. When staggered and when the sum of tremor potency and count adds up to 20 or higher, raise stagger resist by 1, cannot exceed maximum stagger level with this effect. Okay, interesting. Uh, anyways, is there something I want to do? I don't think so. I'm actually not sure which identities I plan to use, but anyways, let's go. Let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> All the way in here. Ticking sounds. Oh, okay, now I cannot deploy Heathcliff. Okay, that makes it easier. Now I know who I will use. Okay, now the order. You two probably first. You two, you first, actually. Oh, um, then like. You like this, I think. Something like that. Is the game too loud? I think it might be too loud, huh? Oh no, I... Oh no! Well, okay, I will hopefully remember to change my announcers later. But I want to equip the Nelly announcer and Heathcliff announcer since they are new. Okay, I turned it a bit down. Uh, I mean, it still looks like it's loud enough, if still not too loud, but, well, you know, who knows. Uh, we gotta run. He's got the heart broken. This, uh, I see distorted Heathcliff before me. Oh, that's our Heathcliff now, right? He mauls, rips, and tears into everything before him. But his mournful howling is tingled with so much pain that it hurts me to even listen. He's killing everyone, the researchers, the dead rabbits, even people trapped in the glass pots. If we were to get in his way... Yes, Yes, Executive Manager, he will not hesitate to attack us as well. This will be difficult before battle for everyone. And it will leave nothing but deep gashes in our hearts. But... Even so... Can't you... <laughs> uh, clog him back to being normal? Probably not something you can do, huh? We have to bring him back. The clock turns. Okay, maybe we can. <laughs> um, just want to point out I'm tired. Didn't sleep well. I normally would probably get a nap, but I can't do that because there's new Limbus and I need to play this game. Anyways, I guess my fucking sinking team will be useless. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> What do you heat cliff? Uh, lots of bleed, paralyzed, fragile, unclashable. Did I see correctly? That's annoying. That's annoying as fuck. Uh, defense level down, clash winning. Had just a lot of bleed. When this unit has the chain, all pirates gain. Attack power up and 2 damage up. Uh, when the chain is broken, start next turn. Starting next turn, gain 2 bind and plus 0 0.7 to all physical resistances until the end of the encounter. Okay. So I want to break chain. Simple. <coughs> Uh, clash win, 
clash power minus two for the next clash and a clash lose clash power plus one for the next clash uh plus two damage okay this is unclashable okay i want to check is everyone at level 45 I think I did level everyone I'm using. Oh, Fishmill doesn't have her ego. Does everyone else have ego? No, okay. Well, okay. I. Only these three do. Very cool. And you also have wrong on this one, or at least like the other one that I normally use. V very cool. Anyways, like, I mean, this is a strong one, so you can probably win a clash. Can you win a clash with this? Oh, you can. I see. Well, I guess I'll still use this then. <laughs> Whoa, what is chain? The last two. Okay. Two. Oh, well, that's unclashable, so I'll use the weaker skill, I guess. Oh. Okay. I'm sure everyone wanted to do this, just, just beat up Heathcliff, right? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what is this? Inflicts SP at damage, I see, okay. Um... Okay, I probably want you now to come here and then like Faust for example um, and the other ones to clash okay okay right that's neutral at least so you will go but I don't want you to get countered oh wait oh they are slow shit I see well that's fucking annoying <laughs> well oh this is the one I would prefer to clash well, to be fair, clashing for her would be hard with that. Okay, then. You are not winning clashes, I guess. No one's stacking fish me. Okay, well, I guess I'll do this then. And fish meal will go here. Something like this. That sounds alright. Oh, 
I would like to inflict the manor thingy. Uh, I don't remember what's the thing called, but it makes uh, people without SP roll worse, if I remember correctly. Which, you know, would be useful. Uh, echoes of the manor. Units without SP change panic type. Wait, no. Uh, unit, units without SP minus 10% chance to flip hats. That's, you know, good. And Faust can inflict it next turn. And I want that to put on body. Oh, hopeless. Very fun. Oh, right, because you have to paralyze, I see. Makes sense. You're hitting here, then. I just... Seriously? Okay. As long as I am able to inflict the echoes. Well, this is annoying. Shit. How this feels staggered. What are you doing? What is this effect? Oh, actually, do I did I unlock new passives? No. Uh, Faust can do this, which is good. Definitely. What was that skill? Yeah, okay. I will do that. Uh, who has paralysis? He sank. So you will go here for sure. And then you to try clashing. Okay, that's suddenly nice amount of sinking. Okay, nice job, Gregor. Oh, what is sec. That's almost like fleet sec. Okay, the chains are almost destroyed. Okay, what is this thing you got? Under certain co condition <clears throat> and at free value, all parts become staggered next turn. Expires when applying free fragile to the chain part. Clash loose. Oh, oh yeah, that's from the body sec, I see. Huh. 
Interesting. Oh, more body sex? This is body? Yeah, okay. Cool. V very interesting. Very fun. I could start with this. That's always a good idea. How much? Right. Uh, yeah, sure. This will be fine. Are down. <gasps> so now he should have less resistance, right? And what was the other thing? And bind. Yeah, he is bind. But if I do this, that looks nice. Uh, I'll maybe clash with Altis though, since she's not full on sanity yet. <laughs> Oh, ouch. That's annoying. Oof. That's... Wow, that was a lot of damage. Oh, I think I'll do another one of these. Unless there is like second phase, I think this is good. Like after you get rid of the chains, I think this will go fast now. Kinda. Yeah, but he's like stagger soon. Oh, not heads. Charles, <laughs> Okay, he's good. The heartbroken is shaking and stumbling. What is the fluid dribbling from its his mouth? Is it blood or tears of sorrow? This might be our chance to convey something to Heathcliff. Uh, blood said fish meal. They are friends, right? I approached Heathcliff with Ishmael by my side. Heathcliff. I carefully tried talking to him, but he shrinks back uh, as though he's afraid of something. Maybe my voice can't reach him. I ask Fishmill to relay my words to Heathcliff. I can't empathize with everything you have gone through. I haven't the experience. But I do know that these actions won't do anything to lessen your pain. Maybe, maybe the words can uh, have an effect on him. He's got the heartbroken rights and growls slightly, as though something inside hurts. I don't know if this helped him or if uh, or if all we did was pour salt on his wound, but he's getting back 
up on his feet. I'm certain that this is far from over. Uh, he could be heartbroken against two fragile. He gains one blind. Oh, that's good. And he staggered and... I think I'll just be able to deal a lot of damage this turn. Please inflict some sinking count. <laughs> Shit. Well, okay, I guess it's not needed. Fish meal finished him off. Or maybe not. <clears throat> uh, so if she catches us with, uh, catches us red-handed, Nelly might give us super sleepy snack. Give me a second. I'm s uh, yeah, okay, everything's good. Besides, the front gate got, uh, has got to be closed and look locked by now. I can't read today. Like, I can't read ever, but it's... I feel like it's worse today than normally. <laughs> this is... Now, ready? Ready for what? My Heathcliff, didn't I tell you to pay attention when I'm speaking? Ready to race from the top of that hill to the gardens? I win this time, I'm sure of it. But Katty, you don't have your shoes. <laughs> I suppose Nelly will have to lecture me then. Doesn't matter though. Oh, see that magnificent house over there? Why don't we head over there and peek through its windows? I want to see who lives in such a big house. Kathy, we can't. Why not? Because... If we go there now, they'll spot us. And seek their monstrously large hands on us. One of them will bite your... Your ankle. You won't scream, but... You'll bleed a lot, enough to keep your wound bandaged for weeks. I regretted it day and night uh, that it should have been me who was mauled in your place. And? The people in that house will take you inside to dress your wounds. And there you'll meet Linton. How did you feel about that? Everyone was, well, everyone was entranced the moment they saw you. Of course they were, because you are the most beautiful person in the world. But Heathcliff, you left me behind in that manner. My heart sank, that's sinking reference that we are getting so many sinking identities, to its uh, deepest depths. Then instead of hitting rock bottom, it kept sinking. Now that I think about it, I felt wretched, miserable. I was angry. I was angry that you hurt your ankles. I hated that I wasn't part of that posh picture with you and the others. But more than anything, I... Felt that we... Sorry, Heathcliff. 
uh, that we could no longer be together ever again. That incident really drew Hindley's ire here. So he ordered Nelly to completely neglect the orc air. Oh. Didn't know Linton had sister. I said that that manor for five weeks grew closer to Linton and his little sister Isabella. It was the day which eventually became the reason you denied me for the first time. My life until this moment, they were the happiest times of my life. It was all I ever wanted. But I must leave now, because this is but a diary of mine. You can't change the past. I still cherish this day, the day I could run so freely across the gardens by your side. I did too, Heathcliff. That is why I wrote in my diary, so that I will hold these memories to eternity's end. My most most precious memories. <laughs> Are you okay, Heathcliff? <coughs> he looks better, <laughs> you know, no longer distorted. How are you feeling? Like shit. And miserable. These bodies, your wounds, I did that, didn't I? Heathcliff muttered looking around at the mutilated mold corpses of the researchers. <laughs> Strange. I thought if I went wild, smashed everything to pieces. The weight of my in my heart would be lifted. But no, not this time, not at all. This this feels awful. How am I any different from that freak Hindley? Full of blind hatred against everything in front of me, desiring nothing but destruction. But the worst thing is that I wanted to be like that forever. Because I couldn't simply, I couldn't bear to simply sit there and do nothing. No, you are not like him. Because you came back. This time, sure. But what if it happens again? Who's to say that there won't be a next time? Just ignore uh, Carmen next time. Or Catherine. Whoever distorted you. <laughs> I mean... Carmen does that, but, you know, there was Catherine and stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> I, it looks like Cat Catherine actually undistorted him, kinda. What do I know? Um, maybe Hindley, that freak was right. Uh, I'm unsalvageable. Did I change? No, I deluded myself into believing that I did, like uh, the dullard I am. 
This is what I do, what I am. Destroyer who brings ruin to everything until there isn't anything left to pulverize. If it happens again, I can guarantee that I'll succeed, but I will try again. <laughs> ha. Alright, clockhead. You wouldn't know this, but, well, everyone but you would know. When I'm starting to lose my mind, when I'm completely blinded and defeated, deafened, when I feel my sense of self, my very being, slowly fading away into the dark. I hear that faint noise. That damn noise of a clock. You're welcome. It opens my eyes, drags me back to reality. Well, that's... Uh, because I'm your manager, bringing you back to your path is what I do. Things became a lot clearer when I said that out loud. The sound of my clock awakens them, steers them back to their paths. I don't really know what their paths really are, or how we'd go about following them, but... We are f forging on anyways. Like feeling our way through a dark maze, learning its shape with every step we take. Cool, cool, cool. Ha, <sighs> Kung Fuga Fuzo Tanangone? Isabella. I'm out of encephaline. You guys might want to come back and take a look at this. Look at the corpse of the dead rabbit's boss we defeated earlier. This isn't... This isn't Heathcliff from the other world. I don't think we've seen this person before. Heavens, this is... I know her. Hey, Jay. How are you doing? Oh, Miss Isabella, how could this... So Heathcliff, like, possessed Isabella? Is it, was that, like, Heathcliff's identity on Isabella? Meatball hungry? <laughs> Throw with some fucking clerks. Uh, Isabella? Isabella Edgar, Linton's younger sister. She came by this manor a few times along with Linton. See which manager? Yes, I'm the best manager. Sacrificing my clerks, but who cares about clerks anyways, right? They overrode Linton's sister. Actually, you know what? The meatball is like the only source of death that I would mind if clerks died. I don't think I worded that, that correctly at all. Just actually, you know what? Don't give meatball anything to eat. I think that's a good idea. They overrode Linton's sister with Heathcliff's identity. Hey, yeah, hey, that's what I said. I'm so smart. He wasn't even real. We lost him. Oh. Maybe, maybe... That means we can still get Heathcliff identity for Heathcliff. <laughs> Will Heathcliff get Heathcliff identity? But Meatball Hungry, they can stay that way. How are you doing, Jake, by the way? I don't know if I asked. I 
sometimes do. <laughs> so how was the boss? I kind of just started. I only did one fight for today uh, so far. Uh, but yeah, it's good. I, I really like this game. I just like, I want, oh, uh, talking is difficult. I, uh, I have almost hundred, uh, 1400 hours on this game. Uh, well, I got some stuff to do in three hours or so. Gonna stream some Honkai, uh, Star Rail. So I'm excited for that. 14,000, 14, right? It's 14,000 actually. No, 1,400. Yeah, uh, it's like quite a, quite a lot. It released a year ago. So yeah, it's, it's quite, quite a lot. But also I played this game. Uh, I played this game normally while like playing other games on my second monitor or stuff. Had to spam some planetary ornaments. Yeah, there's the triple ornament event, right? Yeah, I did that yesterday. Uh, well, I hope you get some good rolls then. Uh, he would 29 hours on Limbus. That's a good amount as well. But yeah, I hope you get some, you know, crit rate for damage. There have been a total of four separate instances of lightning strikes. How many of the lightning strikes do we want? Was it five? Or like salvageable relic? Yeah, but at least you get three times more salvageable relics. Uh, Mersault was the first to break the silence. The most logical course of action from the perspective of our company. 황금가지를 가져가기만 하라고 했던 린튼의 말이 맞았을 것이다. Would have uh, been to wait until the golden bow becomes available to us, just as Linton had suggested earlier. A silver lining, yeah. Uh, when I was farming yesterday, I'm pretty sure I did that yesterday, I did get one, uh, one like solid, solid thing for Acheron. By the way, Acheron makes Mirror Dungeons so fast. Thanks to her talent. Is it called talent? I think it's talent. Technique. No, technique. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the Acheron's technique makes uh, mirror dungeons like twice as fast. Probably even faster. Would have been. Oh, wait. I already read that. Seven strikes, okay. What, hide in the barn and wait for the seven strikes of lightning like cowards? What a helpful lot you are. Thank you kindly for your words of encouragement. You know what? We should have done that from the start. It was foolish for me to even... Allow me to finish it, Cliff. I'm beginning to feel the need to practice hastening my speech. We have experienced consistent escalation of risk merely by moving about the manner. Moreover, it is growing increasingly difficult to ensure Heathcliff's safety. Therefore, in conclusion, Mersault paused for a moment. I judged that we may have to stop the lightning from striking. Even if that decision leads to our failure to obtain the golden bow. Everyone fell silent, deeply in thought after healing Mersault's judgment. It wasn't a decision based on cold hard facts that he had come we had come to expect from him. Agreed. <laughs> It 
it never appeared uh, that the lightning strikes were a result of natural phenomena. It always struck at the most dramatic moments. It's <laughs> it's like like lightning normally do in movies. Always on a certain trigger, killing the manor's power without fail. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about the circumstances. Surrounding each strike of the lightning. First one was, yeah, at the funeral. When they were reading Catherine's will. Now we can get a bit more specific than that. It was when he called out Catherine's name. The second one. Was when Linton said something hurtful to Heathcliff, all that verbal abuse. The third one was uh, when Hindley drew his love breath and thus all is ruined. Oh, this guy is alive. That's strange. Linton's exhausted voice broke through the our musings. I think I knew that, right? I just didn't remember because I'm dumb. Or actually, I'm very smart. I just don't have good memory. He looks around at the destroyed laboratory, the corpses and the husks of that peculata. Pecatula. There was a hollow look in his eyes. His face, already so sallow, had lost even more of its color, but he stood tall. Linton's gaze lingers for a moment on his sister's mangled corpse before moving towards Catherine in her coffin. Your brain has more important matters to remember than this. <laughs> no, no, actually, it, I think the Limbus lore or story is the most important thing I can ever force into my brain. But thank you. That's that's the best emote I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, Isabella, my dear sister. Oh, yeah. I guess that was his sister, huh? That's pretty rough. So this is what our reunion was to be. It feels like it was just yesterday that you left our home without a word. I found a break date in Angela, but sadly it's too big to even become a gift. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw break dates in Angela. Like uh, somewhere. Like, like the gift you are talking about. You didn't even write to each other? She did send me a few childish letters that she'd met her fated partner that she's found through love, but she couldn't possibly introduce me to this person as I would surely refuse to give my blessings. You... Do you even understand what you've done? I merely followed the path laid before me. Almost like following a prescript. The lightning has struck four times. Yeah, we know. We know how to count, you know? Executive manager, I can tell from the way this man is speaking. That he may know the conditions that trigger the lightning strikes. Arthur spoke plainly without even trying to lower her voice. 
Wait, I saw Platinum Capra? I haven't saw that. That sounds great. I would love Gabra to pet me. Or... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Wish it was Bina though, yeah. I love Bina. Each strike of lightning is a blessing. I love all of them, by the way. <laughs> love every single librarian. I love every single sinner. I love every single character in every Project Moon game. Uh, for it signifies that you have a place in her heart. Oh shit, I don't remember what he just said. What? Okay. Each strike of lightning signifies that you have a place in her heart. Okay. Linton looked straight towards Heathcliff. And I could finally see his face clearly for the first time. He wore the expression of a deep bottomless pain. He didn't change... It didn't change the fact that Linton was still extremely suspicious, sus, uh, and had quite a lot of things to answer for, but... I began to sink in the... It began to sink in that he also was... Fuck, I can't read was also a man who was grieving for someone he loved. I lied to you, Heathcliff. Our marriage was never happy. But I have spent my entire life struggling to earn a place in her heart. Knocking and knocking so that she would let me in. Yeah, there was nothing. She never once gave me an answer. Even now, she remains silent. Well, she's dead now. Linton. Linton. Nothing. None of that justifies the atrocity that you have committed in building this abominable laboratory. I have given some thought to how many, how, how so many people could disappear without leaving a shred of evidence. It cannot be said that the gangs kidnapped them by force, for there were no signs of resistance. There have also been cases of simultaneous disappearances, sometimes even entire families would disappear all at once. You actually read the whole article? Then it can be reasoned that they weren't taken against their will. It would be more believable to say that they followed their would-be kidnappers willingly. <laughs> Which means the kidnappers was someone well known, someone with a decent reputation. Wait, did he offer them a job at a manner? Promise to treat them to a nice meal or something? <laughs> An experiment to produce a human, or so it was called. 하지만, 아무리 생각을 해보아도... Yet I cannot imagine a single human being for whom these heinous experiments, all this sacrifice, this suffering would have been worth it for. Linton, 
uh, Master Linton, even if it was Miss Catherine who asked you to do this, this is to... What? She, she asked him to do it? What? <gasps> oh. Catherine, she asked you to do all this? No, that's impossible. Linton receives the sinner's deluge. Deluge? Of resentful accusations with an unstirring expression. Yes, I will not deny that everything was by Catherine's request, but it was by my will that every one of her requests were carried out to the letter. I'm asking you why. The why never mattered to me. Oh, so he never asked. Sometimes I click accidentally. I don't. I have just. I don't know. Programmed with my finger. Um. All I ever cared about was endlessly and endeavoring to carry out her wishes. To do as I was told. Yeah, still. Why? With your family's wealth, you could have just lived out the rest of your days in complete luxury with money to spare. So why? Should the corp be made aware of what has transpired here? You may be subject to a high degree of punishment, even if your family name were to mitigate it. You ask me why? Is it not obvious? I think he liked Catherine. Because I loved Catherine. Smart, you see? Ever since, of, ever since the moment I laid my eyes upon her, to this very day, I have spent every single moment of my life pining for her. You are just desperately begging for her that affection, funded by your own obsession. Speak ill of me as you will, I care not. Because my joy comes from what morsel of affection she spared me. So you have no idea how much I envied you, Heathcliff. You envied me? You? Even in her youth, when I would come to spend time with Catherine at this manner, she would always ask me the same question. I wonder where Heathcliff has gone to. I wish he was here. Of course, you must have been hiding from her, for you could not bear the sight of us. And believe it or not, it was not I who burned the letters. In truth, I would have delivered them to her myself had I had my hands on your letters, because that how, because that was how desperately Catherine was waiting for your news. Once she left, Catherine, she shut herself off in her room, refused to eat, and withdrew away. Gazing into a mirror day and night, until one day she 
calmly emerged from that very room and asked me for my hand. Cool. A mirror. Yeah, mirrors are a sass. Yeah, that's what. Okay. She mentioned the same thing in the diary that she saw herself in the mirror. That's what mirrors do. I think that's like what what is supposed to happen. Yet we kept no mirrors at the mirror we left. At the manner we lived. The mirror she looked into was, according to her, a gift. A gift from who? If you would like to know what she saw in that mirror, what it was that she saw that prompted her to ask to marry me. Why don't you ask the diary yourself? Ask that old diary that remains in obstinate silence before me. Obstinate? Obstinate? Silence before me. Are we gonna read the diary? Maybe. Maybe get some lightning strikes? Lightning rod. Oh uh, no, Enkepaline. Yes, Enkepaline. Okay, what I want to do is. Okay, who do I get rid of? I want to get my potential man. So, and I want to get rid of one of these three because I want to use the new identities. It's like the best, worst thinking one. It's like the worst at inflicting thinking. This is... You know, I mostly just want as much count as possible. This is like free count, but next turn and it also is free coins, so... You know, and this just obliterates your count. But I overall think this is like a really good sinking identity. This is like two count for two coins. No count at all. This is five count and it's three coins, I guess. And like, this is good identity. But they are all good, I would say. This has no sinking, this has sinking, but no count. I think I'll... Okay, this has count, but it's also only four count and it has four coins. I think I'll get rid of you then. And get my potential man. And I'll probably want potential man to be faster. Or maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's go with this. All right, and uh, equip ego. Do you have ego? You have ego. You don't have ego. What is this? Going there is. Should I use it since it's new? It does inflict sinking, and this is sinking theme. But like, this is actually a really good Kraus eyes view is actually quite good. I guess it's good against bosses. I don't know how good it is against non bosses. And you know, it's sinking theme. Oh, I used so much fucking thread on this stream. Tongue of Lenin, 
다음으로 미루려 합니다. 오히려 지금은 혹시 빠졌던 사실은 없었는지 검수를 기록하고 검토하는 것이 I don't remember how much I needed. 두두. Yeah. So now it's inflicting a lot of thinking. How much does it? It costs gloom, and I I still don't remember. This is slot. I think. What is this one? Uh, stupid ass game. I remember the other ones. I think. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's go. Here, to the lightning road and yeah I'll go with these guys you're going to fight us in your state uh, uh, if you seek to disturb this experiment, then it falls to me to stop you. What are you even looking to gain from this, by going this far? The same thing as always, I love Catherine, so I shall do as she wills me to. So that I may enter her room, I dare not wish to become a master of it. I merely wish that she would let me in. 그저, 그 문이 열리는 것만으로도 충분할 것 같아. The mere sight of an open door, that little gesture, would be an, more than enough. 지금까지 저택에 내리쳤던 그 모든 벼락의 소리는. The thunder of every lightning that struck the manor was the sound of her breaking heart. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kesorine mommy, Jesus, your demada, Pioraginari, Chinangoya. Can you get Kuman Kum Kuna Pungua, Sanchi, the Chongshin Chok Chungi? With every heartbreak, the lightning strikes, the pain, the bereavement, the shock are all manifest as uh, lightning than darkness. Thus, the lightning only indicates that the person in question was so important to her. Heathcliff, I think Nelly was right. Catherine's still alive. Let's go! Let's keep it that way. Uh, it wasn't ex exact science or anything like that, but I've been feeling that gaze coming from somewhere within the manor. Not an aggressive gaze, no. But it was certainly stubborn and lingering. Okay. Well. Oh, uh, I didn't change my uh, announcers again. I want the new ones. To win, right? And you know, can't throw on Heathcliff. So, as you possibly noticed, I wasn't streaming for like a week. Which is like something I did or didn't do. 
I, I explained this in the past, explained is a word, weird choice of words there, but I guess I did explain it. Uh... I was again in like I always would get to like f f two or three when I normally stream and I would be like yeah I want to stream today I feel like streaming and then I would look at all my games and I would be like ha huh, there's nothing I can play there's not a single game there are no games that exist so you know that's to say, I simply didn't feel like playing anything. Uh, I don't lots of games. Yeah, I just bought new games just, like, recently. But yeah, uh, I don't want to play any of them. I don't want to, like... I just didn't feel like playing more Ruina. I didn't feel like speedrunning more Plants vs. Zombies. Uh... Nothing to pick yet. Just, uh... I, I basically just read Manhua the, the whole week. No, okay, that's not true. I also like... Uh, what did I do the whole week? I think I wasted the week of my life. Uh... What's Potential Man doing? I need a way to heal Heathcliff, I guess. Really? Oh, I didn't look at what Linton does. I assume he does something special. Hey, Mastiza. Yes? <laughs> you want to see my monstrosity? Is that... Sure, sure, yeah. Show me. Uh, I think I'll use... Faust's ego. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at... Wait, is none of you Linton? Those are just battlers. Everyone is battler. Okay. I was expecting to fight Linton. Oh, come on. Another fucking Tails on Fleet Sack. By the way, where I wanted to go is that I kind of want to... I don't know if tomorrow, since I might have something to do tomorrow. Not not have to, but like I was planning to meet up with, uh, with a person. <laughs> you know, with a friend that I haven't seen for a while, but we, we don't know if it will work yet. But anyways, in the near future, this week... Oh, fuck. No! Potential man! Okay, well, cool. The fuck are... Am I... Did I click on the correct one? I didn't. No, I want this guy in the back. He has like 10 of... HP. And that's a lot of stuff. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I want to start playing Control because I bought it recently. So, you know, I might not feel like it, but I'll just force myself and I'm sure I'll enjoy it. It's just that starting a new game is always kind of pain. Where's our monstrosity, Shay? I still don't see it. <laughs> Uh, 
It's coming, okay. Okay, sure. I mean, I, I don't mean to rush you or anything. I won even with my potential man dead. I just can't use this heat push. I just did, you know. But man, what a bad identity. So there isn't anyone left. Well. <laughs> Alright, here you go. I think it didn't work. Uh, I assume that was a link. Uh, sorry about that, I guess. Okay. Just looking to Discord. Okay, we'll do. Ah, yes. That's not monstrosity. I love that. Ah, uh, I can I. Uh, now I'll show how well I can use OBS. Definitely. Took me 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, do I? Oh, okay. I guess I have to learn how to do OBS. Because I want to share with the class, even though there's no one, but you know. I'll still do it. There might be millions of people watching in VOD. How do I show a picture? Wait, what? Might have to cover Ajin's face. Why? Is there something wrong? Oh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Going to send it on Reddit. Okay. Right, right, right. Uh, I'm sure my class doesn't mind spoilers, and I'm still unable to fucking use my Reddit. <clears throat> Not Reddit. What am I talking about? OBS. It's straight up just a picture of Ajin's face. Ajin, Ajin's face, whatever, however you pronounce the name. Uh, a spoiler? Yeah, look at her. Smash. Isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Uh, ooh. So you need to, it's a spoiler, so you need to add an X on his, uh, in his, uh, face, yeah? Ruga, yeah. Anyways, I'll keep this here. <laughs> uh, I will keep it in this size throughout the whole stream. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm joking. Do, do, do. Uh, what if I... Oh. Uh. Cool. It might be a good VRP panel. I have one of those. Oh, uh, I, maybe I shouldn't be flashing that, right? But I intentionally made it darker. It used to be just black and white. But I, you know, made it darker. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyways, let's, <laughs> I'll go make the game. 
the usual flashbang. Yeah, used to be. I also have like this, but I haven't used that in like years since I just to now start the stream right away, normally. So, you know, but I still have it. Uh, I won't last la much longer. This is how I was born, how I've lived my entire life. Yeah, glad you know that. So why don't you... What, admit my sins and surrender? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> why would any of that ever uh, matter to me? Linton looks up with a lighter expression, as though a burden has been lifted from his shoulders. Covered his face. Perfect. <laughs> uh, this is as far as I will go. Then with the gentlest voice, he begins to speaking to someone. Oh, is he distorting to... Is he speaking to Carmen? <clears throat> His voice was overflowing intense, fervent affection. Maybe he's speaking to Catherine. As I have always told you, I have no regrets. Since I wasn't the uh, Linton was not in that previous fight, I think it's like a high chance that he will like distort and be like a boss fight, right? That would make sense. I merely think that we would we were both walking in different places. And you always happen to walk ahead of me. Yet even a sight of you from behind someone butters butterflies <laughs> butters <laughs> Yeah he just ate a lot of butter uh in my stomach. This man will die without immediate an appropriate medical attention from a professional doctor, he is extremely weakened. Still. Catherine, I wish you would. I wish my death would bring you even a trace of sorrow. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest Linton fan, but I think his death would, uh, you know, could be at least like a lightning strike. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so smart. Even before I first laid my eyes upon the child, Linton. He was watching me. Unable to look away even for a moment. The chat is wealthy, he looks like a prince charming from a fairy tales of my childhood. And he loves me so so much. See, his eyes glimmer like the very stars of this night sky with every second uh, he lays them upon me. <coughs> I love Linton who loves me. His eyes that twinkle for no one else but me. His flaxen locks that f low for no one else but me. His radiant smile that flashes for no one else but me. Linton who finds happiness through nothing else but me. When light returned to the manor, when I could finally see again, there stood Linton wearing the brightest, happiest smile I have ever seen. 
<laughs> That's definitely something good. The machines of the laboratory were linked to his body. Ah, uh, did you hear the thunder? Catherine weeps for me. Oh, Catherine. Linton masters every strength in his body and reaches out towards Catherine's coffin. Wait, what are you? So now, is there a moment to... Stop! I thought I saw tears of joy rolling down his cheeks, but... Looks fine, healthy. Uh, they were his flesh beginning to melt off his face. Huh. Even if you will not permit me into your chambers, it will. It's all all right. It's, yeah. <laughs> I will await you within its walls forevermore. Oh, it's Asik again. We haven't heard from him for a while. Uh, to bring forth the pure form of humanity that once existed was quite the simple task. You never had any talent in the culinary arts, he sang. So you wouldn't understand. Oh, he's applying identity. Any kind of identity could safely be secured and securely be applied to it as long as the dough is in its purest form. What happened to Linton? Can't you see? He's becoming though a better, a pure being, fewer of free of drags. Oh, he's getting closer to So that it would always yield the finest results, regardless of what other ingredients you mix into it. You call that mass of flesh human? No. 새로운 인간을 만드는 것은 그 과정일 뿐. No, creation of a new human is but a stepping stone in that process. 최후의 목적은 당신이 말한 저 반죽을 넘어서 그 전에 있었을 최초의 인간이겠군요. 이 상황은 저들에게 단지 과정이자 실험이었을 뿐일 테죠. Uh, Jay, I don't know if you're still here, but if you are, you know, could you do something like? This? But for Faust? <laughs> Can I commission you? <laughs> uh that would be that would be pretty pretty nice. Uh their ultimate goal must be to go even further beyond that though. They seek to reach the very origin, the primordial human. This is but a part of that process, merely an experiment along the way. Uh, you want me to make a collage of Faust? I know nothing of Faust. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just joking. I mean, you can do it. I won't stop you, you know, but uh, uh, everything you need to know is that she's very cool. Um, I mean, I think I could... Okay, I will just fucking use um obs moment again <laughs> do, do, do. i hope i won't show anything bad um okay i think it's here ba, ba, ba. i you know since I'm also streaming on YouTube at the same time as on 
to which you kind of have to make thumbnails. You have to make thumbnails if you use YouTube. And I'm professional in making thumbnails. I'm very good. Like, insanely good at making thumbnails. Very good thumbnail, right? This is big thumbnail making. But it's not the only one. I made more thumbnails. I made multiple thumbnails. Also can do this sound. That was cool, right? Uh, I have like... Do, do, do. Oh, which one is the right one? I have like this thumbnail as well. Faust equals Angela for Olympus. <laughs> you could say that. I mean, there are some theories. They are uh, connecting them together, not like making them... Like, just kind of connecting them together, possibly, for uh, things that might happen in the future, in, in the city. But yeah, Faust is great. I love Faust. Anyways, there's still one more thumbnail I had made. <laughs> So I'll just show you since I'm already in the middle of it. I just love stalling. Oh. Uh, I should just kind of stop putting every single thing uh, file in my computer to the same folder. I should like maybe clean up my computer a bit. Uh, and by clean, I mean like files, not the actual computer. Anyways, this one. This is my favorite Faust. I think this is the the most attractive Faust. I'm at work. I uh, hope I hope you're enjoying working. I'm at work too, since I'm. Uh, 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 I'm professional streamer, so this is my work. I'm at work as well. Hey, okay, using artwork from Mumbus is free. Yeah, exactly. No need to look for sources or give thanks to artists. Exactly. I have thanking to artists. Fuck artists. Artists. I'm joking. Uh, anyways. <laughs> now it's uh, Angela is back. Uh, yeah, okay, cool, let me go play the game again. <laughs> that was now just interception of the gameplay. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Here, Molchung is Harain and Yonboni, Nabaki of Nungal. Tying Ryagaso. Consider yourself fortunate that there aren't any other sur surviving researchers here other than myself. <laughs> Herman is our gotten Vipunduri to Kira to Etamion. Ot Kedun, Chanere Chaborugo, Kiris of Sertenica. If Director Herman or any of the other higher ups heard what you said, I'm sure you would be pulling all kinds of strings to take in. I'm sure they would be pulling all kinds of strings to take you in. Oh, right. Ah, uh, mother, damn it. I knew that woman would be. Mandrojin, so panjukita. Chanidri, Inganira Purinin, so chunje. Kukun, chop jummy up dun, or do and seke can and song irado. Bunjon and inkyoki kittel sweet than in Goshkurio. The doe, the being you refer to as a human, I presume that one could apply any identity from any possibility. No matter how distant and irrelevant to the world, to that being. 그래. 누구보다 이상 자네가 기뻐할 거라고 생각했어. Uh, yes, Isang. I know that you would be the most overjoyed to hear this breakthrough. 우리는 거울 기술의 최극단에 있는 지점에 도달했으니. A moment. Give me, give me a moment. Uh, as I said before, I love stalling. Go, 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 go. Everything is good. Yay. Uh, this is the apex of what the mirror technology is capable of. 
Now all I, all we have left is to do is to leap from that apex to soar beyond its limits. 태경은 황금가지가 하나 더 존재한다고 파악하고 있습니다. From what we know, there is another golden bell located inside the manor. 이 반죽이라고 지칭하는 것은 막대한 에너지를 끌어모아야만 시도될 수 있는 실험. The dough is a part of an experiment that can be conducted only with the preposterous magnitude of energy output. So the golden bow to accumulate that much energy must be located on the rooftop of this manor. Hmm. 맞아. 이 저택 주변에 무자비하게 내리치는 벼락을 모으는 것이자 황금 가지의 힘을 응축하는 피레침의 역할이네. 이젠 조금 소름 돋을 지경이군. Yeah, folks, is smart. Correct. The golden bow acts as a lightning rock, rod, drawing the merciless strikes of lightning, then harnesses it into a form of energy for itself. Your breadth of no knowledge. Is starting to get unsettling. 다 모든 준비는 끝났으니 이제 슬슬 퇴장을 해볼까? Now that well, now that everything is in order, I must really make it my exit. 어디 가시려고? 이번에야말로 네 놈을 잡아서 어머니의 계획과 관련된 정보들을. Not so fast. I'll get you and find out everything you know about what mother is planning. 부디 나를 잡으려는 불필요한 시간 낭비는 서로 하지 않았으면 좋겠어. Please let us not waste each other's time by planning playing this pointless game of cat and mouse. 완벽한 상태의 인격이 더 쉬어질 때 이토록 희부연 연기가 온 사방을 덮고나지 헤어짐을 하기에 더할 나위 없이 멋지지 않은가. When the perfected identity is applied over a doe, one such opaque murky mist emerges. What a picturesque moment. Most apt to bid you all farewell, is it not? Herman is a other Iraguena. Young is on saying it's a me it does it. Oh, is it? Is it the smoke? Like it is smoke, but is it the smoke? Director Herman's son, was it? I hear that you are a veteran of the smoke war. Then perhaps this may be a familiar sight to you. If a tad different in a few places. And he sank, my dear fellow. Live so that I may have ought to to look forward to in the time I have left. Yeah. Yeah, he sank will live. Oh God. Uh, the wild hand is that a witcher reference A perfected identity? Who is he talking about? I I think Heathcliff. I think he might just summon another Heathcliff. Or the same Heathcliff, actually. The one from the... We fought before. He's coming back. He, Heathcliff, now fully primed. Yeah. I'm so smart. How did... Uh... Shit. Nelly know that. Yes, I have returned. I, whose existence itself has become a sin, have returned to put an end to us all. You. Oh, 
you accursed beast, infernal demon. You have finally come to take our manor, eh? Uh, mistress, I shall not let that interloper who dared to stay in the manner of honor of our manor. Oh shit, that was fucking fast. Kag, Kag, I mean, I didn't like her that much, but still. Didn't have to do that. Ha 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 ha. Every withering heights at the end of it, of all things in this, in every world, eventually became a mine. Every single death Hindley and Linton suffered was pathetic and wriggling, and that shall be an immutable truth for all eternity to come. Thus, Josephine, it's only right that you are mine as well. You are bound to heed my commands. Mistress, this vagabond, he's... I tire of your ramblings. Of your mistress, she's nothing but a rotten corpse, her flesh decayed and bones des desiccated. desiccated. Josephine fell limp and motionless in Heathcliff's grasp. Ah, Josephine, Hindley, Linton, all of their pitiful souls tangled and fettered to this accursed destiny in this world. Uh, I have seen you far too many times in far too many worlds. I shall take you away from me. Uh, you pitiful souls who remain bound to withering heights even in death. The husk of that Pecoletta Linton Hindley's... Linton's Hindley's Josephine's. Uh, all began to materialize and rise. They begin to form a pro procession? That's a world word I definitely heard before. The countless bodies, husks, the wailing things in their wake. All joined by joined the march. Thus approaches the final chapter of this tale. The other Heathcliff stands in the vanguard of the march and lifts Catherine's coffin into his bed. No. No, you can't do that to Catherine. Fine, I suppose we could play a game. It has been a while, hasn't it? Remember, we used to play games with Catherine on the rooftop of this manor. Why not reminisce upon that sweet memory, hmm? If you wish to join us, pursue me. Pursue me and rise through the stairwell until your strength fails, Heathcliff. Heathcliff takes a step forward to seize him, but... The Endless March stands in his way. Oh, but... It will not be uh, that easy, nor should it be. Your heart towards scattering shan't be realized so painlessly. Oh, 
You must suffer more. Let desperation consume you. Become frenzied in your pursuit. The rooftop. Uh, indeed, the roof houses the golden bow. When the two golden vows come into physical contact with one another, they... I can think of a thousand different outcomes. I don't know what he's planning to do with Catherine, but... We have to stop him. We have to. Our retreat's been cut off. No way forward, no way back. Are they Hindley, Linton, and Josephine from other worlds? Wor wor worlds? That's. I. This is dumb, but that's like one of the words I always struggle to pronounce. Worlds. It's, it's, it's just. Yeah. Hard, difficult uh, worlds from other worlds. Yeah, worlds. Yeah, you know, for some reason I don't know why. I mean, my pronunciation of anything isn't great, but it's distinct. <laughs> Fuck me. I hate worlds. I have a short tongue. I have a stupid tongue. Um, so I also get a little bit of stuttering issue, yeah. I I just can't pronounce stuff. Uh, but I guess to run, yeah. Uh, <laughs> enjoy running specifically. To to finally find all the sources of the fifteen Angela photos. Uh, I send a collage, yeah. Good good job. Um. Just ready to ask for sources. Yeah. Um, they appear to be Im impurified identities, someone from worlds chosen at random. It is the fate that awaits all those who became trolls of the Heathcliff, of that Heathcliff. <laughs> A phenomenon in which mirror world entity wreaks havoc across the dimensions in pursuit of every Heathcliff in other worlds, wild hunt. Like the nocturnal march of a hundred demons. What is that? Is that something I'm supposed to know? So there's no end to them? Uh, he's the conduit that has brought them all to this world. He leads this army at its vanguard, at its vanguard, as its Erklong or the Erkling, er Erking, Erlking, Erlking. <laughs> You can see my my pronunciation abilities are actually amazing. This army will never stop until the Earl King's orders are withdrawn. A brutal tempest descends. I again didn't change the stupid, what's it, what was it called, uh, announcers. Oh, come on! What are you doing, guys? What is this shit you have? I see, okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. 
Uh, what are... What is this Hindley doing? Hindley of the... Hind hand... Filed hand. If this unit SP is at minus 10 or less, gain offense level up. So he counters my sinking team, huh? Kinda. In clash, clash power minus 1, take 10 HP damage on self. With each clash, this effect does not reduce this unit's HP to 0. Faust, could you please win the clash? Okay, okay, very cool. Yeah, fucking great. Good job, Faust. Thank you. <laughs> I guess just don't like winning clashes. <laughs> Sangsongin <laughs> My outdoors is almost fucking dead. Hungumetong <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will fight more Hindleys, huh? Chigondri Yurian Jokone is Sumida. Ah, Tunglang Nimi, I see my cigar. Even John took us Hongong Jokurukun and Damian. Good son, who should get the Gajus in the Guadagunia. Oh, come on. Yes, sir. トップ Attack, but I think <laughs> my guy will die before it hits Cliff's turn. Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm kind of scared that Altus might die here. Oh, yes, Josephine from another world. That sounds dangerous, kind of. My Altus is really low. Uh, do I have someone except Altus who can, uh, I mean, except Faust who can heal? I don't think so, right? I can possibly try using this, right? Maybe actually this way. And well, let's just try, I guess. 
results are actually hard like until the end of the last week's uh stages like all of them were quite easy but all of these like i'm doing today are actually quite hard <laughs> Which is good, by the way. I don't want that to sound like I'm complaining that it's too hard. I I like that it's hard. Okay. This is fine, right? Yeah, okay. This one's dead. <laughs> when, like, you get enemies to, like, minus 30 sanity, that they have no chance, basically. Not completely no chance, but, you know. quite difficult to do anything when you have like 5% chance to roll heads. I mean, unless they are like a negative coin ID, but... Yeah, they are not, so... Okay, nice. Autis didn't die. <laughs> That's kind of close. I assume now we'll be, like, climbing to the roof and on the way killing hordes of Linton's and Josephine's and uh, Hinley's too, I guess. Wild Hunt too, yeah. Oh, but there are the Peculatum as well. I think that's bad. Since you know they don't have sanity. Heathcliff was heavily wounded. It looked as though he could hardly stand, let alone wield the weapon. <laughs> fuck, fuck. The club clattered to the floor and rolled away. As the last vestiges of strength left him. When I left this manner by my own volition, I... I promised to myself that I would return a changed man. I think you have changed. So that... So that I could at least stand proud before Catherine. So that she won't be embarrassed of me. But look at me, I couldn't protect her in the end. I can't even get nearer to her or hold my weapons proper like an idiot. Heathcliff. I know, I know that I don't. I know that I don't have anything to show for in my life. I ain't educated, I've got a short fuse and a brutish personality. Oh, is that... Uh, tell me, Cloghead, no manager, is that the first time he called me manager? <laughs> This endless overwhelming flood 
Is this what it's like to face my sins? Was my life so wretched that I deserve to suffer this endless worms of sins? That can't be true. I wanted to believe that it can't be true. That with the will and the determination to for forge on, the mist that once seemed an impenetrable will one day part, and we will see the light at the end of the tunnel. That every struggle he endured, every lesson he's learned on this in his this journey, couldn't have been for nothing. So please, please don't doubt the path I'm showing you. But there's more of them. They number greater than the last. But when I've led you into such an absolute darkness without even a hint of light, what should I? When even I'm start, when even I'm starting to feel lost, what should I do? Just like kill all of the wild hunts, you know, and pray to Lata to us, yes. Oh, this is focused, I see. I think that's what it calls like focused encounter. Maybe I should be clashing more. I'm just, you know, focusing the guy in the back. While only clashing with the other things. Okay, now let's... Can you clash? No, you actually don't even want to clash, really, huh? Uh... What are you good against, by the way? Envy and Blunt. I mean, this is Blunt. Uh, and you two probably clash. Oh, that's neutral. Is this different? Well, yeah, but in a bad way. Oh, and that's too slow. I think if you attack this, that might, that one might be dead. It might be a bit of an overkill, but I want to kill him, so. Yeah, it will be over. Well, maybe not. Oh, come on! Stupid game. Oh, does the guy really have one HP? Did I see that correctly? He does. Very cool. <sighs> you have like fucking 10,000 different things on you, Heathcliff. I mean, these are all neutral. Uh. Huh. I think I'll do another one of these then. Uh, 
and then who you two should try to clash. Oh, I see. Uh, you two should try to clash. And then probably you, you are the lowest currently. And you two attempt to finish off this guy. もう取り消えてしまいました。チキノロマラジャメント大げさ、ダクタリアナが取り出しにこりられるかよ。ゴルフもあっそじゃったなんて言うしちゃう。Come on. 30% 할인된 가격으로 재생 앰플을 I mean, 수 있습니다만. That sucks. All oh, right, you're slow as fuck. Okay. Cool. Um uh... Well, okay. You you three will be clashing then. Okay, I'll do just fate. No, I'll do dominating. And you probably go for this one since that one's really healthy. Oh, come on. Out of rings. Mm. Come on, Faust, please. Can you win? I mean, you have favored. But if you get hit, you might, like, die. Uh, probably not yet, but, like, you're not dead healthy. Wait, neutral? I thought I saw favored. Oh, I see. That's fucking cringe. One power plus seven. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, how much sinking does potential man have? I don't want you to be spending sinking. I want sinking to activate. But okay. Connor, nege patchatuti. Okay, good. Faust finally has some sanity, and she's not dead. <laughs> okay, this guy is dead. Oh, why, why, why did your sanity heal? <laughs> Shit. Uh, let's, like, who do I kill them with? Faust. Wait, actually. Wait, how are... How is his sanity healing? What is healing his sanity? 
Was it? Oh, was it because Faust killed that thing? What is their level? 44? How does that... After this unit defeats an enemy? Huh? How did he gain sanity? What happened? Okay, let's hit Cliff Clash here. He'll go for this bottom, uh, back one, not bottom one. Shouldn't I, there be one person I'm not clashing with currently? No, there shouldn't. Right, I'm dumb. Um. Who needs clashing the least? Well, yeah, fish meal, which is who has it. You know what? I think I'll actually do this. So I'll get every. Well, Heathcliff will have a lot of sanity, which I don't want. Oh man, <laughs> potential man is so bad. Pionara. <laughs> And of course, I don't get heads. I mean, yeah. Charles, sorry about that. Gaikman, Charles, you think I? No, really, what heals his sanity? Do I have s something that heals sanity? If after attack, if the target is in a staggered or defeated state by an attack from one ally with the least SP, the ally heals 7 SP. That might be doing something. I don't have to. Oh, wait, Aaron? Does this person count as same faction with someone? I mean, is it because it's ego that they count as the same ego? Possibly? Because I thought it would only count the two battlers. But apparently not? Because I don't have anything else that should be healing sanity. So I guess I'll change to different mares to then. Full <laughs> 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 How does Heathcliff's thing work again? I need to own a free. I see, I need to own them. Hmm. How do I not own them? Hmm. I guess, whatever. Uh, I didn't realize how much fluid set cost. I normally only need gloom. At least that's what it feels like. Wh how are you losing that Faust? What the fuck? Didn't she like try winning the clash? 
Why not? This is already 10th turn. Uh. I think I'll... How is this new thing? Uh, I need to, or at least I want to kill them this turn. So, you know. I get the rewards for making it under 10 turns. Or is it... I think it's in 10 turns. I think. I don't remember. So hopefully this is enough. Okay. Cool. What was that? Only like 85% chance? So obviously it didn't roll well. Alright. I love skill like identities that can do mass attacks as normal skills. So good. Like I love it on all this he sang. Uh the the the, the, the magic blood out this and the regret Faust? Regret, right? Yeah, yeah, I got the extra rewards, but I think quite close, right? Is it still in turns? Yeah. <sighs> Lunacy, so that's cool. Already have like over 200 rolls for uh, when the thing, <laughs> you know, the thing. Uh, Valprugus Knight comes. I don't know what to do with the heat cliff. He's not good. <laughs> but yes, I will use him. Okay, I will fucking do it. Maybe if I got him on like the first place so he can like use more skills. Nothing? Nothing can deal with that? Cringe? I mean, I still think this probably has a bigger chance. Even though they are all, like, neutral. Oh! I cannot use that. Okay, this has a bigger chance, even though they are both neutral. I think. Uh, you can do what are you going for, Yi Sung? Oh, come on. Okay, cool. Very cool. Okay. Stupid ass fucking king. Dong Lang Lim, Tishiro, Ungon Yong Pai, Ris, Hao Gin, Et Ziman, Yok Gon Sang, Tishigi, Him, Tishigi, Jaga, Tishin, Eso, Mago, Diri, Gis, Mida. Um. Neutral. Can Faust, like, be at least favored? You can be favored against this fucker. And it can be favored here. And we go for like this guy. Now you should probably go for this guy.
<laughs> yes, they got. Wait, I. Oh, should have used the other thing. Come on. Was favored. Okay, I finally would like to win some clashes. Finally. Uh, I mean, I do win, win some clashes sometimes, rarely. Okay. I need to... Mm. I need to lose this clash. But I don't want to do that. But I will. I'm not against that maybe though. Against this? Wait, then I want to use the other skill? Huh? <laughs> I did. I think I, I did. Also, I wanted to change my fucking... Uh, Mersal. This is pretty nice chance, right? Well... Okay. Someone is so tagless in Optiman. Your opponent has your sister coil. Okay, I want... You should be able to finish. You could be able to finish that one. Uh, 
and then let's like get everyone else to hopefully bully this one to death. You know what? I'll probably just use this as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that wasn't me, that cool. This one will survive, huh? Shit. Oh no, I'm dumbass! I'm... Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's use this. That's why not. Um, and I'm supposed to be clashing with four different ones. Who am I not clashing with? You? I see, okay. Well, let's just go for this. Yeah. No attack weight three. Very sad. I'll just do this. I, this is like a good ego, right? Didn't I want to equip the new one on his son? I did. I did want to do that. Punch for probably the first one. Yeah, that sounds good, I guess. Oh, No heads. Sage. And it's only turn 9! Okay, uh, before I continue... <sighs> Before I continue, I'll go refill my drink and I'll also grab something small to eat. Uh, so BRB. Burp.
I'm back. Hello. Impenetrable path. Okay, yeah, encephaline box. I have a bunch of encephaline boxes now. It's probably thanks to the rewards from the season pass that I claimed today. Okay, enter. Okay, so what I wanted is change Mersault. Um, so I don't heal SP. I don't remember the passives. Clear. Interesting. I mean, I do inflict a bit of tremor. Burn, that's useless. This will be something with charge. Rapture. Uh, which, you know, I do very little of. Uh, probably not. This has something to do with charge. This is rupture, right? Uh, this is, by the way, like, overall, I would say a really good support passives, but just not for my situation, I guess. I didn't realize it would work on the heat glyph with Yisang. I know, I would assume uh, heat glyph would work with, like, the uh, other, like, some stuff like with the fish meal, the ego fish meal, or like I don't remember actually all of them. Uh, the Faust, right? Maybe, maybe even like a lobotomy ego, like the lobotomy ego ones, right? But this is like F Flores ego, F F Flores set. <laughs> Ego, not uh, not other ego. And what do you do? That was something with poise, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's get this because that still does at least something. I mean, this also does something. Highest max HP. Who has my highest max HP? We have two nineteen. Okay. You know what? I'll let's get to this then. Since you know uh this guy is like a tank and he wants he like relies on the gun on the counter attacks quite a bit. Uh what do I want need to activate that? Okay, I think Yeah, that's that's doable. Uh, by the way, what do you, I know what, that you heal, but how? What do I need to activate that? Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. What do you do? I don't think you're a good heal, right? You work with. Oh yeah. Uh, that's quite good, but I guess not here specifically. What would be good? This is bleed. This is like a very good bleed one. Don't remember this one, but I remember it being good. Yeah, this is quite nice. This will be something with burn, right? Yep. Uh, this is awful. I remember that it can kill you. That's like the only thing I know. Something to do with charge and this will probably do something with speed or bleed. Well, yes, yeah, speed up bleed. <laughs> No, okay, only bleed. Uh, let's let's go with this then. A uh, bit of changes. These are good. These three. So yeah. Possibly if I, you know, had Heathcliff on like the first slot. 
나만 믿고 다들 집중해줘. 블린턴. 도움이 될수 있을 거야. 하, huh. that's wow. Gets a lot of fucking sanity. <웃음> 호 에르데닝 캐라 오라잇 도스 아르 아이 스윔 라이크 더 네임 오브 히스 패시브스 but they put the three dots when it's the wild hug one i would assume just like a fun thing to do anyways Let's do this. Pure body. Oh, come on, Faust. Fuck you. Okay, like, sorry, that was rude, but come on. <laughs> Maybe I should have focused Linton more. So he has a lot of thinking. Uh, and this that's on the neutral uh all right because you have better lies okay sinking count sure i will do this And I want as much sinking on that specific guy, so you know, because he has sanity. <laughs> Quite simpler reason. I didn't change the ego on Isang. Okay, my guy is staggered, so I will clash with people who need clashing. I mean, that's favored, okay. Oh. Uh, then you go and do this. And the other ones come here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, who do I want to clash except that guy? This guy. I think Ireland should <laughs> die, hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, I love Sancho and like everyone else, but I want to use the new ones. Oh, I don't know how many waves. That probably means there's more than one, right? With this hatred. I see. Okay, that's like his panic type. Um, 
dominating, yeah. Uh, maybe I should clash with someone who, you know, wants to clash. Oh, uh, probably you. And you want to clash the most. Let's do this. And make Faust clash as well. Only neutral? Okay. Oh wait, also neutral? Yeah, well that's fucking cringe. But I believe Faust can do it. This one has a lot of sinking now, so that's good. Oh, seriously? I mean, he's the one, so. Really? That guy has like 1 HP. Oh, wait, you are fast. Okay, let's do this. Huh. I need to clash. Okay, actually... You have... This is my only counter. And the other ones just come here. Uh, how much drama do we have? Enough. But I kinda want to leave that for when I, you know, have more enemies, since I don't know how many waves this will have. Who do I want? Why oh, yeah. It's a good Fuck you. <laughs> this will most likely kill, right? Yeah. What is this? Peculatum <laughs> Erae has destructible body. Uh, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Lots of burn. More burn. Oh. I see. Okay, this is good actually, using the manor. Oh, fuck, I cannot clash, my guy is fast. Okay, Faust can clash. You can go against this one, I guess it's neutral at least. This is confusing, all the fucking...
Okay. Uh, I guess this will hit, but it's very painful, this one specifically. I mean, I guess it's just oh, yeah. think that this guy doesn't mind at least. Kinda, blunt. Now this guy will get slash, Ring. which is... I'll do what I had before. I think that's better. I'll just let it hit my Heathcliff and this Gregor. Uh, I'll inflict the manor so it rolls worse. Sinking the next turn. Hmm. Wait, that's a <laughs> shit. <laughs> He's the is panicking now. That was too much. <laughs> I didn't realize he had that much sinking. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, really? He's so close to being staggered. Oh, fine. Okay, that's, like, alright. Let's just do damage. Since I will stagger this, this fucker. No thinking, just damage. Oh god. <laughs> you almost skipped your Hisan Heathcliff? What was with that? Oh, there's more? I should have I should have expected that. My Yi sunk. Oh no, my Yi sunk. Okay, you use this. You use. Right. Ooh. Oh well, yeah, use this. But, well, I don't know. They look like just the weaker versions of their previous selves. Like, I mean, I already fought these, but like, they are even weaker now. They also have only one coin. I mean, a uh, slot. Oh. But I'm slow as fuck. Neutral. Very good. Sarcasm. Connor. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. The, I, I want to do this under 10 turns. I'm pretty sure about that. Which, you know, sucks. Kinda. A little bit. Oh, 
This is already 8th turn, I think. It's not even 9th already. At least my at least my five health fee sunk is still good. No, just that was already ninth. Yeah, shit. Was is was that possible? Like, uh, fifteen turn. Okay, who is not clashing? You should clash. He sank. You should clash. Heat cliff, and I'm sure it suggested good skills because it always does that. Fumeni, Tanzo has young Kunio. Okay, lucky. Okay, eleventh turn. Okay, I will only need like one to kill you. Oh, how much tremor do you have? Uh, the only five. Shit! If I had six, this would be so good. Okay, I think this should be fine. This should be enough, hopefully. Now, obviously, clash. And the rest of you will go against Linton. We know what to use the strong skills, why not? Okay. Sheesh. Are you not panicking? Oh, right, you are inflicting it. Right, okay. Um, um. Okay, okay. This should be more than enough to kill that guy. Hopefully. <gasps> no, okay. I thought I have... More Trevor. Fuck, okay. Oh, I fucked up. I. Cringe. Cringe. There's still more? What the fucking fuck? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that.
All right, you're slow. No troll. Okay. Let's go for the one on top. That's blunt. Yes, blunt and rash. Okay. That's like not awful. But you know, obviously also not great. Ah, struggling. Wait, how much tremor gun do I have? Three. Uh, neutral. Okay, I'll do this just so it's dominating. And both of okay, I'll just use the this, even though you know it will mess up with my heat cliff. Heat cliff will not do well because of that. Wait, oh, right, I, I staggered this fucker. Okay, okay. I didn't realize that they are quite... not that healthy. Or they, they, their parts specifically don't have that much health. Ah. That's a huge ton of burn. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. I hope this is the last fucking phase of this. This is fucked. Okay, good. So, okay, so get you with the Torian and Tanako Katao. What do I need for another flu sake? I just don't have enough envy. I need more envy. Struggling, cool. Uh, what about this? Not struggling, okay. Can this? Oh, right, too slow. Heathcliff, can you somehow deal with that? Nope. Okay, you do this then. And which one do I focus? I don't think I can kill both of them. That sounds not realistic. I can probably kill both of their bodies, at least. So let's destroy your body and then focus this guy. <laughs> I don't even know if destroying their bodies does something because I don't read. <laughs> but it might be useful. The burn is painful. 
다른 방법이 적절하지 않았을까요? 아까 절단 해놓은 부위 내가 갖고 오면 안 되나? My God. 나 부탁해 제. 어. I think I need two enemy for this, right? Three, oh fuck. Pin rate? Nope, okay. Good, cool, very, very cool. I should be able to clash with this one, yep. And Heathcliff, you just fucking... Can you get sinking count? Not really. I can deal some damage with this, if I would want to. I mean, this, this, gives, this gives me sinking count, okay. Even more if Tails hit. Okay, okay, I'll do that then. Uh, let's go for like... We're probably the one on top because that one could die. I can't imagine like new players going through this without like grinding for seven years first. Uh, to be fair, like, I guess new player doesn't get to counter 6. Yeah. I think, like, the first two to three counters are, like, the tutorial. Not, not exactly tutorial, but, yeah. Oh, they are using the strong skill. Can... Okay. You can deal with even the strong one. Not with the second, though. Okay, who are they focusing? This one is for Yisang. And this one is for... Uh, fish meal. And fish meal is basically full. She will take a lot of damage if I do that, but she's basically full, so... And Isan could die, most likely. I mean, I can use Ego. I can use this. Sure. Why not? I will still actually possibly die to the counter, though. Counter is... Uh, it's not that bad. Oh, shit! That's a lot of damage! Wait, what? I could have done different uh, ego then, I guess. Oh, was it scripted for me to lose? I didn't lose yet. I was doing well. <laughs> I was winning. Okay, I guess I was scripted to win instead. Oh. Dante. Oh, come on. I was so close to winning. Now I want to know what would happen if I win. I... <laughs> I will, if you can win, if that's possible. Ah, uh, Vergilius? 
He's not a fraud? Whoa, am I seeing things? Guys, is it just me or is that... Uh, it was that very same Virgilius who never once seemed to care about what's happened to us, who never once took part in our journey, wading through the wild hunt into the basement. I love John. Sir Virgilius, most illustrious scholar. My deepest apologies for my alertness is not as keen as it's, it oft is. Could this be a dream? Is it uh, truly thee? May I pinch thy cheek to ascern my suspicious suspicions? Sounds like you've got enough energy to flap your gums. <laughs> oh, uh, what biting words, fursuit, but our very own color has arrived indeed. My god! That's cool. Uh, come on, at least clash with them so I don't die. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I need to. Okay, I I will ignore the one that are focusing the Virgilius. Oh wait, look at my shield. That's cool. That's that's good shield. They don't deal really that much damage. <laughs> Oh, 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 right. It's a good one. Yo, this is cool. But I, I really want to know what happens now if you actually win. Hm. By actually win, I mean like, you know, um... I, I think you can't. I think it might be impossible. But like, I don't know. It felt like I wasn't doing that badly. And maybe in the future, when you can have more uptie and stuff, maybe you can win and it will do something fun. Does he have... <laughs> He's only using cred. Hmm, I wonder if that means something. Hmm. Hmm. Inflict free bind next turn against enemies with 50% or more HP at turn end. If the enemy that's about to use skill against this unit is not at full HP, that unit gains uh, one attack power down for every 20% remaining HP. Inflict super thermogenesis on hit when with a Gladys skill. Turn end take. Fixed damage equal to percent x percent of max HP based on the value, then the effect expires. On a skill use, take 3% of max HP as fixed damage. This damage cannot kill this unit. Uh, after attack, heal percent uh, heal 15% of max HP of every unit killed. 
All allies, including this unit, gain shield every turn. All allies, including this unit, does not drop uh, one HP f below one HP for this encounter. Okay. The red games becomes available. I saw friend who. I generate mang. Okay, based on HP. Consumer SP to generate mang. Deals more damage based on the number of mang. This unit panic time does not change when inflicted with an effect that changes uh, panic types. Instead, this unit is inflicted with an effect that is inflicted against targets without SP. Okay. I'll just fucking... I can't die. I'm gonna just abuse Vergilius. Or, well, he's gonna abuse them, it looks like. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> Yeah, I would also be hesitant to fight fraud. <laughs> but he's not a fraud. Yeah. Why? Why are you here? I mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be here, but still. I simply could not bear to walk past this familiar sensation emanating from underneath the manor. The thick stench of the husks. And the terrible wailing. Pergilus gazes at the destroyed laboratory and the march of the wild hunt in collected assured silence. Though I couldn't know everything about the path he walked. I could see the smallest glimpse of it. But you've never involved involved myself? No, I haven't, and I shouldn't have. But it is pointless to waste your time on those whose path has ended. On those whose past has ended, you mean the peculata? Pe pecutella? Pecutula? 그래. Yes. 지하실에서 생겨나는 모든 죄종들과 와일드 헌트라는 것들은 내가 맡도록 하지. I will handle this wild hunt and the pecutula born from the basement. 하지만 끊임없이. I think he was doing very well. I don't know. Uh, but there's literally no end to them. Can you handle it? But we were in no shape to deny his help out of worry. Sinclair barely stops himself. He couldn't bring himself to finish his sentence. Yet Vergilus understood the meaning of yet silence. Yes, that's why I'm handling it. Ooh. Fuck yeah. He's handling it. Oh my god. Look at him. He's cool. Poor Gregor cannot witness it. Uh, did stuff change? Oh, is it this? The red case become available? No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, just this again, since I can't die. This is insane. I think I won't even use it because he will kill all the targets f before. There's 
spell bacho on him. <laughs> Actually, are you focusing every... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh God. How's this looking at Virgil's with an in? Skewer inscrutable expression. Vergilius. 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 Yes, I am aware I won't be receiving everything I wanted from the contract. I will have to forgo my avarice. Make compromises or even give up a few clauses. I suppose I'll also be summoned to some other some meeting. I wonder if they did all like this whole cool sequence only for the people calling this guy a fraud. That would be pretty funny. That would be hilarious. I know I said that before when he was only talking about this, but uh, now now he actually like you know uh, God here. <laughs> Yet I was compelled to come here nonetheless. Ah. So much for my determination to follow the great flow, but I simply could not permit this stench, this sight to exist any longer, even if it me meant that I must swim against the flow. Very well. Oi, I... I don't do shit like leaving a family behind. At least not usually. You are awfully talkative today, whatever happened to following orders without questions. As you can see, I am not so weak that you must concern yourself with my well-being, uh, when there are much more pressing concerns. Besides, I know a more effective way of taking care of them. And Pergius looked down at the sword in his hand. I once left this weapon in the care of a kid I knew. When I returned, he who should have returned this weapon to my hands was no more. This blade was all that remained, abandoned on the ground. Gladius. The Gladius. My wish is dead. And no one will ever have to understand the meaning of that sight. I need to read Leviathan. <laughs> the endless onslaught of the Pe Pecatula and the Wild Hunt began swarming toward Vergilius. Family? A word I haven't heard in such a long time. What a blood drenched wo word it is. Blood poured from Vergil's head like sweat and tears, uh, seeping from where the ground dug under his skin. And the mantle began to ripple into existence once again. 
mantle of blood. Let's leave this to Vergilius. We have to keep moving. <sighs> Yo, I even got to X rewards. <laughs> Does it say what the X reward? Okay, clear stage. I if I, if I read this, I could have guessed that it would be like a special stage. In some way, the rooftop. Uh, I want ver I want by the way, I still haven't changed the announcers. <laughs> I really want to use the new ones, but I always fucking forget. Oh fucking hell. Are you serious? What a fucking stupid game. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, want my people to gain sanity. Uh, wolf no throne. This is favor, but Faust cannot clash with anyone else. So I guess let's do let's do no draw, that's fine. Uh then I'll get you to, to attack this one. You know what? I think I'll get you you two to attack this one. And then like this something, I don't know. Okay, that was too much. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, I can kill this one easily. I should finally trigger... Well, actually, no. No. Uh, let's do, like... Uh, I, I want Faust to clash, since she doesn't have sanity yet. You two come here. And the rest of you will come to... 
this one. But Faust is the clashing one. Okay, maybe that actually isn't enough to kill that one, huh? On the other hand, oh, right. It was staggered and I did overkill it. And this one isn't that. Fuck, I'm so bad at video games. Anyways, can you clash with someone? You can't. No throw. Dominating. Favored. Seriously? Okay. Good thing that I used the Faust to kill that one as well. Okay, Faust, can you clash with, can clash with the first one? You can... oh. Uh, you cannot clash. You can try clashing with this one, you can try clashing with this one. And... Then I'll focus everything on this guy, because why not? Is that too much? Nah. I'll do like the, you know, weaker skills. But still focus that one. Maybe it was too much. I don't know. It, fuck me, man. I'm doing so much damage. Oh, what the fuck, Faust? Come on. Yeah, I focused this one too much. But it's fine. Faust, can you, like, win a clash? Please, get sanity. Something like that. Also, I should get Heathcliff to have some. Oh. Sinking, not on the sinking count. Uh, you have enough of that shit already, so you can use the mass attack thingy. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, pretty much anyone can finish this one. I'll probably use the stronger one since I s I will want this to be the last turn. It looks possible. <laughs> if I didn't mess up somewhere. Maybe I should have I should have put more attack to that one, huh? Okay, 
Okay, it's an abdo. Okay, cool, cool. Golden bow. And it's a, it's a story stage. I also noticed that, you know, it shows you how many stages there are. I... Is there like also like that dungeon that's normally at the end of like all the chapters? Because if there are this many chapters, like f f six still left, and then also a dungeon, that's like a long ass ending <laughs> to this chapter. Compared to how fast I had the second part last time, you know, it was a uh, quite a short stream. <laughs> So how are the their two golden vows here? I mean, it's a rich family manner, but it's not like they are a corp corporation or a syndicate. Um, 하나는 린튼 씨가 거의 전 재산을 털어서 무리에서 구해 오셨다 했고. Um, one was acquired by Linton, who spent nearly all of his fortune on it, and. 나머지 하나는 어떻게 구한 걸까요? I wonder how he got his hands on the second one. 린튼과 캐서린을 도와준 제 삼의 세력이 있었을 것이란 추측이 있다. It is possible that there have may have been an involvement of a third party that helped Clinton and Catherine. With what information with what information we gathered from this ASEA, all evidence seemed to point to Director Herman of Ancorp being our third party. Right, hiring former wing researchers of our good people, that's not something you see every day. So you have all been traveling with Heathcliff collecting the golden vows, yes? Yes. Then you must have had to fight so many people in your journey, yeah? <sighs> I suppose every day's been like a battlefield. We have all seen more than enough of our share of battles. Can't say I disagree with that comparison, except we have tasted nothing but victory so far. I see. So why are you looking for the golden vows? That's a good question. I would love to know as well. Boredom. Well, maybe it will lead us to loads of money. Uh -huh, because that is an act of justice. It's all just a part of our contracts. I don't know what they are planning to do with the golden vows, though. I think Faust knows, so none of you even know why are you are collecting the golden vows. Aren't you scared, Heathcliff? Doing everything the company asks you to do without asking a single question. Do you ever worry about what comes next? Nelly, Nelly I've always had a singular goal. We all do, because Loghead keeps reminding us of our individual goals. Do I do that? So, no, I've never been afraid. I couldn't hear the faint sound of or I could hear the faint sounds of horse hoofs echoing from above us. And now I have but one goal. We have to go after that git. We can't let him take Catherine to the rooftop where the golden bow, bow is. But... 
But isn't it too late now? We are slow, yet he is swift. Virgil's bow bought us this opportunity. He must have had to sacrifice something of his to get here. He made the decision for our sake. I will not waste this chance. This is the only way to the rooftops, right? Yes. Uh, that bastard keeps sending those dregs after us. What we need isn't the strength to defeat them. What we need is a little time. Faust, I'm asking this out of pure curiosity, but do ask. <laughs> there is gonna be a good reason my head is in all things in the shape of a clock, right? It can be said its shape was not determined randomly and without intent. As every shape is followed by concepts and symbols adherent to the loss of casualty, ca causality, ca causality, and the golden bow has powers that I am yet to be aware of. You are not asking a question, you are asking for a confirmation. If that is the case, simply do as you will, as one seeks the stars in the night sky. If I can, I mean my clock or the golden vow or whichever it is can turn back time. Then what's there to say that I can't accelerate it or shorten it? Besides, I I did not want my Heathcliff to be tied down to his past like the Heathcliff from the other world was. Ramos are of res What the fuck? What? Okay. Whoa, do you feel that? What have I done? We are faster and uh, fast enough to outrun our enemies. This is not temporal acceleration to be precise. It would be more accurate to say we are in a temporal tech deceleration field that slows everything except us within a certain radius whatever it is we'll catch up to him in no time all right clock head is this your doing i think so oh i'm so smart he said the same thing the sinners could have complained that this would have been very helpful a while ago, but I had nothing to say to them. Even I didn't know that I had access to such power, I just began to feel the possibi a possibility out of nowhere. Everyone I've uh, gone through in my life. Either ignored me, scorned me, or simply lost the plot before we had we even had the chance to build anything. It was always a mess. But you plug head. What is wrong with you? Why do you still hold any hope for me? I don't mind. 
Uh, you needn't go this far for my sake. The company won't give two shits about any of this. The other sinners won't either. So why are you why are you trying so hard? I don't deserve any of it. I ain't worth because Hello Other Heathcliff Heathcliff focus, he's getting away. Shit. Bollocks. Let's crack on for now. Yeah, okay, I won't answer your question. That's cool. That's cool with me. Uh, 15 turns, so this will most likely be a boss. I would assume that at least like the base of the boss will be the same as last time. Obviously, I would assume harder. Stop. I won't let you get away this time. Give me Catherine back, you good. Even if you were to pursue me, even if you were to grab me. Now she's still alive. It will change nothing, Catherine has already left you. I, I... I still can't... Shut up. I still can't imagine Catherine actually, like, staying alive, though. I... I have, like, this... I don't know, it's just hard to imagine that she will somehow end up being alive at the end of the chapter. Uh... Yeah. Even, even if she's somehow still alive now. I don't know. That is the most undeniable truth, isn't it? Shovel up the soul and exhume her body for all you want. But this is an immutable truth. There she lies, uh, wearing an ineffable, ineffable, eternal smile. She always is. I know, but I'm trying my damnest to change it, so shut up and... Ha ha ha, change it? Allow me to relieve you of the struggle. You will suffer longing for her longing for her for as much as eternity permits. Searching for Catherine, he's long gone from this world. Until your heart finds peace. Every strand of despair leads to the same answer. At the end of every path, you will mutter to yourself. That once your repentance is complete, you shall lie beside her in that coffin with your cold, still heart. I merely mean to lift the years of that suffering from your shoulders, join the other Heathcliffs in their trail of penitence, and I shall grant you the early peace of your heart that you so deserve. A uh, sort of, I don't need your sh shitty uh, shit idea of peace. Sh sh uh, that's not how I want to find my peace. I wonder if you would say the same thing even 
with the revelation that all of this is exactly what Kentrid wanted. I like this, the light, uh, sapling of light ability button to on the top right. Uh, sapling of light ability, select ability to use. Press the confirmation confirmation button to activate the sapling of light ability. Sapling of light can be used as long as there are remaining activations. Remaining activations are reset every day. Have the speed of all enemies. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Dogs hard music. Okay, I want to use my strongest skills again to hit Cliff, kinda. So, you know, I can inflict a lot of sinking. Oh, I should probably read what he does. Inflict thinking, okay. I'll skill target Heathcliff when the counter of Heathcliff dies. If the target's counter HP is higher than the units, clash fire plus 20 will 20% more damage. Clash lose, clash win, heal SP to self, clash lose against Heathcliff, lose SP and gain bind next turn. Uh, okay. So I will try to use Heathcliff. Heathcliff can't win this though. So. I fucking love this music. I fucking love him really. They are all neutral, yeah. Uh, is that the same skill? Yeah. Okay. Shit, okay. I guess these guys are not that healthy. Okay, as much sinking as possible to this fucker. I'm... Wow, didn't inflict sinking almost at all. What the fuck? Okay. Wow, that's... What? Wasn't he supposed to have more thinking? Did I... What? what? <laughs> what else? Oh, I'm dumb! It's Clash win and I didn't Clash! I'm idiot, I'm stupid! Okay, well that's cool. Uh, that's that's fine. That's completely okay.
favored neutral neutral am i fine with neutral or do i want to i i want favored Okay, good. Oh, bad. Okay. Okay, good. Tell get to the Peter should I fuck with this guy? Or should I go for... No, okay, I will clash, but I will fuck with that guy. Uh, oh, you are fast, I see. And that's just neutral, and this is struggling, huh? Okay, I'm just going all out on this heat cliff. Oh, well, I think I can go for the neutral. I don't like doing that though. I will just go all out on the heat cliff. Uh, how's my sinking on this heat cliff? I think I can, uh, want to use this. Wait, I'm dumb. I clashed with different skills that I wanted to. But I guess he won't really be winning when at minus 45 sanity. Hmm. Oh, I see. I have plus one power minus. Huh. Well, I'll do fucking this then. Oh, I see. Wait, what? Oh, target fixed. I'm damned. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I see. Wait, how does... Huh? Okay, whatever. Okay, let's reset shit then. Okay, what do I not mind, really? Faust cannot clash really this turn. I mean, she can, but like. She can. Uh... Okay, I'll do this then.
Let's go with this, I guess. What? Seriously? Okay. I mean, it would be dead if I didn't lose that. Oh, this one might be staggered. Oh wait, that guy has a lot of thinking. My Gregor has so much thinking. Oh, wait, what's the explosive bloom? I didn't read. Wait, how do I get explosive gloom? When are we the same affinity to this unit's explosive emotion effect is defeated? What? Oh, oh, okay. I, I would like to say I get it, but not really. Uh, Oh, this ah, uh, this has a high chance of cor cor corroding. Uh, will you be able to? I mean, you are still favored against, for example, this one. Let's go with this. Wait, my Heathcliff is on minus. Oh, okay. Uh, minus forty-five now, huh? Isn't he? Yeah, he is. Well, his clips are at minus 45. Well, that's annoying. I should probably go with the weaker skills. Well, to be fair, this turn I can deal like a shit ton of damage. I could have dealt like a shit ton of damage. Oh no, stop bullying my f uh, fish meal. Okay, so now I'm supposed to kill this one. I 
can't let Gregor get hit, since he would lose like 10,000 sanity. I'll do, I'll do the stronger one. Oh wait, that's bad! Why are they so fast? Fuck! My Heathcliff is getting fucked up. Well, that's fucking annoying. This one has dominating. Should I use one of these? I, I'll do it, I guess. Okay, you know what? I'll use this. This is giving me a reflection railway. Uh, what's the world? Okay, I guess I won't be funny anymore. Flashbacks, yeah. I'm saying that because I only use that eco ever in Reflection Railway. My Heathcliff, no, no. I mean, I'll just do this. I think. I'll just do a lot of damage this turn, I guess. I should maybe look at his passives. I probably unlocked more info. All right, I forgot I will deal insane amount of damage thanks to that shit. Uh, Isang's skill. Oh, okay. I think I. Do you think I should would be able to finish this guy off this turn? Do I, do I just bully this person? I think I can afford to do that. Possibly. Like he has a lot of fresh I will get staggered most likely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait. Isn't he? Yeah, okay. Ouch. 
Ouch. Oh, I, uh... Wow. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I think he's dead, right? Okay, good, good, good. Give Catherine back. She's forever lost, her consciousness is broken, scattered to a thousand places. Shut up. Uh, you'll you'll have to do much worse to make me give up. Da. Heathcliff the Earl King falls to his knees. We were less than 10 paces from the rooftop. We had to stop him from going up the stairs no matter what. Oh! <laughs> Mersal is doing something! It's not on the Heathcliff! He's bound, I cannot hold him with these chains for much longer. Neutralize the target as soon as possible. Will do. Oh, this is so cool. I love this game so much. <clears throat> I'll knock that wretch unconscious. It's one of many lesser known skills of butlers to keep their foes neutralized. Dante, our foremost priority should be Finding out who was the dead showed Erking Heathcliff about Heathcliff's and Catherine's in every word world. The one who opened the eyes to the mirror worlds. I see now, Faust, the only, you only have the potential to know all things, not the knowledge of all things. If that statement pertains to me, then yes, but that is... I suppose I'll find out when it's your turn. One thing has at the time, Faust. Let's think about this from the very start. Understood. The very first question we must ask is how Catherine suddenly gained a keen interest in studying the mirror worlds. Considering that she led a relatively normal life before Heathcliff's departure, this behavior seems highly irregular. So it's pretty much given that there was someone acting behind the scenes egging her on. What? What do you mean create a library? Wait, what? Huh? What do you mean create a library right now? What are you talking about? What's that supposed to mean? Did what? Catherine didn't create a library, did she? What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I mean, they are talking about not the library I have in mind. That makes sense, but I don't remember them mentioning any library. Uh, indeed, someone who handed, uh, handed the mirror to Catherine, uh, leading her to create the library, someone who had it to have 
invited Er King Heathcliff to this manor. It must be someone close to Catherine, someone sh who she heavily relied on. Nelly, <laughs> executive manager, if you would allow me to voice a few suspicions. Do you recall what Nelly said when we had discovered the golden bow in the basement? D there? Is that the golden bow we were looking for? Right, she did say that. Uh, executive manager, she couldn't have known that we were actively seeking the golden vow. We never shared that information with her. The only thing she would have known at that stage is what Catherine's uh, will stated. That she was leaving the golden vow to Heathcliff. And when we encountered the dead rabbits in the corridor, she claimed that the world of world of street is that we must be wary of that rabbits with red eyes, but as you are well aware yourself, in the streets their eyes would not have had any color. Right, she wasn't even at an angle where she could see their eyes. It only, it can only mean that she already she was already aware of that fact before we encountered them. Nelly. Don't let Nelly anywhere near Heathcliff. Aw, that said, I liked her. But we were too late. Now sent to the, to the rooftops, Heathcliff. Nelly, why are you talking to him? Do you still not understand? It was Nelly who invited me to this manor. She summoned me here, gave me information I needed to utterly destroy that fool he handled. Oh, and it was Nelly who introduced me to that girl, Isabella. Do not ask me why, for the answer is quite plain, because we were both tired of enduring. Arkin Heathcliff, now freed by Nelly's hand, no, disappeared to the rooftops of the manor. Fuck. That's, well, fuck. <laughs> Uh, life stolen. Finally, I can. I remembered to change this. Okay, who am I taking? It's simply Nelly and Heathcliff, since you know they are new. I want to be able to equip more than five. I want to get every single announcer. Nelly. You betrayed me? This manner has never been on your side, not even once. And Heathcliff, I find it very vexing that you would use the expression betrayal. Heathcliff slowly approaches Nelly. I can't imagine the level of betrayal he must be feeling. 
Maybe because she was tired of enduring. <laughs> tell me, tell me why. It has really changed, Heathwood. The old you would have, wouldn't have bothered to ask even a single question before swinging that big club at my skull. I'm asking because it's you. Do I really? Do I really have to destroy even our childhood? Am I fighting Nelly here? Heathcliff, what are you most afraid of? I wasn't afraid of the ghost that Miss Catherine claimed to have seen, I wasn't afraid of the tempest that sometimes shook this manner, or how violent Mr. Hindley would get when he was drunk. Until one day I became afraid. Was that like the, the uh, I became afraid of an old woman whose heart and body were aged beyond their years? Like the old uh, masters, like the one that, uh, shit, what was her name? The other maid, or butler, sorry, uh, was, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't remember names. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was that old woman, uh, an old woman who suffer, suffered because of you, Heathcliff, and Miss Catherine in every world. Round and round you and Miss Catherine went, both plagued by the hatred, by misunderstandings, the terrible, the terrible obsessions. And I, in every world, was always dragged under the wheel of destruction, suffering and struggling to my last haggardly breath again and again and again. The worst thing... Uh, was that all of us were ignorant to our doomed fates? I hadn't even the an inkling that the two of you were consuming every minute of my life, little by little. So I showed it to her too. How did you get it though, the mirror? I told her that it was a mirror shard that showed the beholder whatever they heart wished to see. The glass shard can make countless cracks in the human heart hearts of humans. <clears throat> it shakes the very foundation of one's existence. The knowledge of mere words can suck the meaning out of every struggle, everything that one has worked for their entire life, and plants a seed of doubt in their heart. Doubts about the very path one seeks to take in their life, it's... Enough to make them attempt to meddle with the selves in other worlds, believing that it is the right thing to do. Oh, if... Uh, someone had shown Nelly that mirror, then that must have been precisely their intended outcome. 
그 정도의 상호작용이 가능한 거의 기술은 분명. Yet a mirror technology that allows for such high degree of interactivity must be. 그 후에는 일이 순조롭게 진행되더군. Then everything began to unravel all on its own. 거울 너머에서 보는 만큼 괴로워하는 누군가와 대화를 하면서 한참을 나오질 않더니. She conversed with someone on the other end of the mirror for a long time, someone who was suffering as much as she was. Then the laboratory began to take shape. Oh, she mustn't have known even in her wildest dreams. She never once doubted me, even as she closed her eyes forevermore in that coffin, as naive as any other sheltered child, a caged bird. I supposed it wasn't only naivety, but also her own temperament. She was the kind of a person who always had to be the center of everything. But please do not deny every memory we have shared together. The pity I felt for you as they abused you, wishing that you wouldn't would live your best life, a life better than anyone else's, were all my honest feelings. And now we fight her, huh? Shit. Okay, Butler's Mark, used to raise attack weight of certain attacks, okay, but she inflicts it, what, okay, oh, if the target has Butler's Mark, Clash Power plus one, Clash Power plus one, okay, Glasses. If there are staggered enemies, this unit first has staggered targets with its attack skills to deal more damage against staggered enemies. If a panic resets to zero, this unit's panic time does not change. Okay, let's start with like this strong skill. Oh, uh, can I do... Let's go for one of these since it's still favored. This is also favored. This won't be favored. This also not. This is, surprisingly. Okay. Uh, this way everything is favored. I mean, I will lower her sanity. If I do that, it should be, well, easier, obviously. She's at minus 30, which is great. Oh, wait. She inflicts it on use? I see. It's on use. Give me a second. I'm getting a phone call. Be
Hey, I'm back. Uh, I will need to leave in like 10 minutes. Amazing, right? I mean, I will return. I'm not leaving for a long time. <laughs> but it's... I, I love when I uh, discover that I need to leave. <laughs> 10 minutes before I have to do it. It's my favorite thing to do. Oh, uh, can I win against some of them? I mean, they are neutral. There's a bunch of count, but no, no, tre uh, no sinking, just count. <laughs> And now there won't be either, huh? Actually, no. It doesn't activate the sinking thingy because it didn't have enough sinking. I mean, she's panicking, so that's good. Uh, I'm struggling on. Well, I'm not on this one. Annoying. I would like to win against that one. I think I'm doing fine. Overall. Oh, I have this thing. Oh, I should have used that last turn. But this is fine. Okay, so... You go here. Uh, you go here. And then the other ones can choose. Oh. Oh. Right, you cannot. I'll do it. Yeah. 
Should stagger, right? Okay, a woman stands before us, her body and mind are spent, weighted down by the time that's sinking her into oblivion of history. Sinking, haha. Who will talk to Nelly? I want Heathcliff to talk to Nelly. But like Isang apparently has higher chance. So let's let's do Isang. Isang approaches Nelly. There was an odd desire in Nelly's eyes. Perhaps it was envy or perhaps it was anticipation. She okay, I need to go. Uh, I will be back, just BRB.
Okay, hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. But I think I managed to do it pretty fast. So that's that's good. She gave me a, a mirror most beautiful, most alluring. It was as gorgeous as a lovely manicure. Nelly sh shuddered, caught by an in a f ineffable emotion. She muttered in a cold, detached voice. There I saw the the kind of a life that was laid out before me. He sank leap backwards away from the sudden metallic noise, but it was too late. The chains that exploded from the suitcase wrapped around Yi Sang's arm. Though Yi Sang's movement may be restricted, maybe there's a way to use it against Nelly. Though, okay. Yi Sang gains two damage up. Well, I'll just do damage. I think. I was picking up chicken, by the way. If you're wondering what where I went, I had to go pick up chicken. And eggs. Also eggs. I know, very cool, right? Okay, I should have kept like the stronger skill so I can play, but it's fine. Hopeless. Not hopeless. Oh, uh -huh. oh wait. Uh. Oh, okay, the rest I can choose, however. How much time do I have? Enough. Oh wait, I did badly, didn't I? Maybe, we'll see. Yeah, she managed to evade this way. Shit. Which I, you know, didn't want to. She will be panicking next turn. There's also a lot of sinking now, so... Well, okay, I guess there won't be though, by the end of the turn. There will be a lot of sinking, not a lot of sinking count. Wait, there's some sinking count still. Panic. What is this again? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well. I don't know how that works when there's one enemy. Can I do this? Like this kind of, I guess. Come
Again, there's only sinking and not count, really. Please inflict some count. Okay, that was some count. This doesn't do any count. Hmm. Wait, I need to reduce her count. Is it because. Oh, is it because she's panicking? Because she has like the manner. Oh, wait, no, she doesn't have the manner type panic. I would love to have Yi Sang's S3 so I can absolutely destroy her. But doesn't look like that's happening. Oh, ra oh my fucking god! Why is she so fast this turn? What the fuck? Can I somehow save Faust? There's no way I can, right? Can I look at the binding technique, please? Okay. Ah, okay. Why are they so slow on... Or how is she so fucking fast? I guess she has two haste, huh? How, how, how is she gaining haste? Wait. Wait, how is she gaining haste? I see. But she wasn't... Didn't win any clash. Well, I guess she did at least one. Since otherwise Faust wouldn't be staggered, huh? Interesting. If Tarka does not have stagger threshold, deal 200 HP damage. And stag stagger threshold by 200. Wow, that's crazy. Anyways, I think I'll just do this since, you know, can't really... I mean, I can at least try defending against, like, one of them. Which will deal like the most amount of damage. Probably this one. But I think I Faust is fucked anyways. How did she still roll fucking Heads. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, Faust. I want sinking deluge. Whatever it's called. Yes, revenge Faust. Oh, revenge Faust? Maybe? Alright, oh, I cannot actually change her panic type. Let's just do this, if it works. And by it works, I mean, you know. Uh, everything is at least favored. So I don't have to actually think. Oh, she got rid of all her sinking? Huh? How did that happen? Unfortunately, it wasn't because I sang her deluge or what? <laughs> I want to win this turn. What am I able to? We'll have to see.
This is first time using this? Oh shit, that's cool. Nah, this is not enough. Is it? Heathcliff? Heathcliff? It's enough! Fuck yeah, okay. Potential man had potential, I guess. Uh, I wanted to win that turn because it was 10th turn and if you get it in 10 turns you get the extra reward. She's like really strong. She was fighting 6v1 uh, and was like doing pretty well. <laughs> Uh, Miss Catherine was difficult from time to time, but I do not wish to deny even the times we have spent together. <laughs> I even missed the late Mr. Ernest Shaw Sr. from time to time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I never lived a life full of hate, animosity. I am just struggling desperately to change my destiny. To get here, I worked myself to the bone, trained and worked harder than anyone else to become a chief battler. Move. You still endeavor to reach the rooftops? I must tell you that it's fruitless effort. That other Heathcliff is already there. And that is how this tale shall end. This is the better ending, isn't it? You two couldn't even summon the smallest courage to, to talk to one another. Stop it. You two always believed everything I told you, even uh, without even one iota of doubt. Even little twists, every little match I made in my tales, taken as truth. No miss, he hasn't sent you any letters, though I'm quite certain that he must be living a good life somewhere up there. I'll send the invitation, miss. It's still the same Heathcliff who didn't even bother to write you, but when he sees you, he will have no choice but to return to this manner. Cease this. Not well, I don't recall ever opening a letter. Her ever opening a letter. Seriously, once she has her mind set on something, no one could ever convince her otherwise. No one. Well, that's... that's very rude. You two have mired more people than you could imagine into your business, yet you do not even talk to one another, nor do you ask questions. Do you really believe that you even deserve to move on with such slothfulness? No more, this tale ends here. Wait, are we fighting Kennelly again or what? Oh, oh wait, that was the end of the encounter, right? That was not start of the... Okay. Ha, uh, I tried a bit harder. Sheesh, good job potential man. Oh, Faust. <laughs> Expression of love.
Ned was right, Heathcliff, the Earl King, Earl, Earl, Earl King, has already disappeared into the rooftops. The only chance Virgils gave us, the awakening I managed with my clock. The very last of Heathcliff's hopes. Yeah, it's over. Endless vortex of colors mixing into a sludge. Splash of grey paint over the heart that once gleamed violet. A splash of bloody red paint, splashes of faded colors. Again and again, until there was nothing but blackness. Unseen by all, unnecessary to anyone, the color of the pitch black night. The color of the back streets. Another power outage. Huh? Where did Heathcliff go? That was only sixth, right? So there's still one more to go. Huh? Where did Heathcliff go? Yeah, he disappeared all of a sudden. What are you talking about? I'm right here. A predictable ending, is it not? He returned to the back streets, the place where our dear Heathcliff belongs. Poor Heathcliff, once again he turns his tail, testing nothing but defeat and despair, tasting. Stop, stop it, I don't want to hear any more of it. Pitiful, isn't he? He wouldn't have... He would not have changed one bit, no matter how much he, time he spent in your company. Look at Heathcliff the Earl King, Heathcliff the Devil. The very same end that awaits Heathcliff. I disagree, you probably can't hear a thing I'm saying, but I still do. Because... I'm hurting, I don't want to be here anymore. So I must marry Linton in the end. Because it would degrade me to marry Heathcliff now. Oh bloody hell, it's this memory again. Jetty and Nelly must be talking about me in that room. Huh, I have to get out of here. If I had to stay and listen, my heart will crack and fall apart until it completely shatters. And this bloody clock noise is back. It could only mean that time's passing, no matter how much I suffer. But would waiting, letting time pass, change anything? What difference would it? Fine, I'll wait a little, so shut up and... Marrying Clinton would give me the means to help Heathcliff. I could make him a better person. So he must never know the immense love I have for him. No, no, this time, 
I don't want to shut this door, this open door. I'm still scared, terrified, even, but. Katie, I'm sorry. I've disappointed you. Because I was too afraid to hear your true feelings. I know this future is the future that will never come through, not for us. I wrecked everything with my hesitation. I hurt more than just us, I hurt Nelly too. I have to start fixing the things I've wrecked. Okay. Because I don't want my Heathcliff to live the rest of his life in regret. That's why despite everything I want Heathcliff to forge on to the rooftop. <gasps> Those flowers bloom in places like desert moors or steep cliff sides. So they may appear more lonely than anything else in the world. Hmm. Do you want to know why I still love this flower the most? All other flowers lose their colors and fade as they wither away. But this flower, even as it withers and wilts, remains the same color. So when you're gone, I will dry these flowers and decorate my room with them. Uh, what, like make rings of them flowers? Don't say something so foolish. Why would I ever leave you? So stupid. I never once realized what she meant by those words. Everything you have, uh, everything you've ever said, Catherine, was an expression of love. Oh, yeah, I'm back. He's close. Where the heck did you go? You blipped out of it. existence when the lightning struck and. Are you okay, Heathcliff? No, it, it hurts. It still hurts like hell, but I will move past you and make my way to the rooftop, Nelly. You're what? Heathcliff, the Earl King, will not be my future. You, him, you both had access to every knowledge, but made the same choice anyway. Not me, I'm going to make a different choice. Thank you so much for looking uh, after us, Nelly. It must have been very hard. Among us? The three individuals mentioned in Miss Catherine's will. Since Hindley and Linton are now both clearly deceased, I 
it can be said that, at least on paper, the ownership of Withering Guys has been transferred to Heathcliff. Uh, I'll give you a new future, Nelly. I'll give you freedom. So start writing as you will. Write your own tale or whatever else uh, it is that you wish to do. With that, Heathcliff left Nelly behind and began making his way to the rooftop. Nelly collapsed to the floor, making an odd noise that sounded like a mixture of laughter and sobbing. I'm free to go. I've been freed. Then I can I can finally The hell are you lot doing down there faffing about? Come on up. For the first time I really have no idea what you're taking right now. Thinking? I don't really think that hard, mate. I just clearly know what I have to do. That's all. Is there like... There are two more stages. I wonder if there's like fucking fourth boss fight against actually fifth boss fight against Heathcliff, but fourth against that that specific Heathcliff. Uh hearts unbroken. Also it looks like uh Katie wasn't actually evil, which you know I'm quite happy with. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, our King Heathcliff awaits us at the rooftop, just as Faust expected, the powerful and oppressive energy that surrounded him had only grown more ferocious since the, our last encounter. This must be because of the Golden Bow and the pure form of humanity. Heathcliff watches us stumbling up the stairs through our... Through our exhaustion, he lowers Catherine's coffin to the rooftop's floor. What a sorry ending to this tale, is it not? You have no idea of the lengths I've gone to destroy both Henley and Linton, how much I have pushed myself to the brink again and again. This is my own heaven. It is finally within my reach. Heaven? This shit is your idea of heaven? Look again, you're in hell, right in the middle of it. When I heard the news of Catherine's passing, I began to see her face in all things. Even my very own face brought back her memories. Everything in the world became an unending reminder of who Catherine once was. A reminder of the fact that she once existed only to be forever lost because of me. So, to breathe, to let my heart uh, beat, I had to think of nothing but the singular wish. That burning, unchanging desire, my wish. 
To kill every Heathcliff in every world. Yes. That singular wish is the ultimate proof of my love. Uh, through my campaign, I have seen so many versions of Heathcliff, some grew wrathful, some begged for mercy for their lives. But in the end, they all admitted that uh, they all had to perish for the good of Catherine, the, and willingly forfeited their lives. I found no pleasure in my work. How could I, when I made it uh, my mission to slay those poor wretched souls, when uh, all of them died so alone, unloved by all things, uh, all that is living by the world? Well, if, if did Heathcliff dies, I love him. I love my Heathcliff. I think if Heathcliff dies, there will be a uh, thunder strike, you know? Just, just saying. Did you know that no one ever weeps for Heathcliff's death? Uh, so the task fills me to bury them. Falls to me to bury them. To shed my tears for them. Yet only silence shall attend my own demise. No, your method is all wrong. Of course, I would give, I would have given anything to make Catherine happy, anything but. Even you, who saw the possibilities of every world, world missed something. What do you mean? You said that in every world, Catherine and Heathcliff were destined to be miserable, didn't you? But we could have been happy, we just missed that smallest key to happiness. No, no such word exists. Because of me, no, us, because of our existence, Catherine will... Huh, bloody hell, I'm telling you that it's not, it's got nothing to do with our existence. The problem was that I wanted to believe that it was. All I had to do... All I had to do was to get over my embarrassment, that little fear. I just had to scrunch up the smallest morsel of courage to open the door and talk to her. But how will you prove your theory when you have nothing left to prove it with? When my Catherine is long gone, his Catherine is still here, right? I can change, can't change the past, like you said. I can't prove it to you, either. Maybe none of this matters in the end, and Kentrid might never wake up again, no matter what I do, but... I'm here anyway, on this rooftop. Do you understand what that means? You, me, we're both wretches. wretches. I understand that. Not 
but I refuse to break like you did, living from world to world, seeking to kill everyone that you deemed to be the cause of that misery. No matter how broken my heart has become, your speech rings hollow, Heathcliff, for the outcome is already decided. I will end your life and leap over to the next world to do the same. Then what the hell are you waiting for? Heathcliff pulled the golden valve from the roof of the manor uh, where it was installed as a lightning rod. <laughs> Your struggle is meaningless, you cannot destroy the golden vow. I can destroy it, no, but I can stop it from working. You, you mean to kill me? You? No, I will stab myself just as you wished. You're... what? I see. I don't exactly understand why, but this lightning bow, golden bow, being imbued by, with lightning is necessary part of your plan, in it? What if I just drained its powers? That cock up your grand scheme, won't it? Wait, how do you even know that Heathcliff? I don't think he knows. I ain't educated, but you know, I'm good at sniffing these things out. Heathcliff. Catherine. I'm back. Please open the door. Why why did you stop yourself? Is this how you wanted and this to end? Because I need Katy in every corner of this manner to hear my call. From what I've seen the golden bow. Connect, connects the hearts together. Look, I'm flying by the seat of my trousers here. What are you? Catherine has become Wuthering Heights itself. I guess that kind of makes sense sense with the lightning like ve very slightly uh i don't understand how that happened like i still don't understand what the golden bows do that's that's like the biggest mystery i don't know if the biggest but like uh, a big one quite important one uh, but if Katy, if she saw the same mirror that Nelly and this git peered into, and if her heart was the same as mine all along, I feel like I'd know what kind of choice she made. Now that I think back on it, from the moment we set our foot upon this manor, Withering Heights kept pushing me away while the diary continued to suit me. We were never honest, Cathy, I, both of us. Heathcliff, what are you talking about? The diary flips through its pages until it comes to a stop on the last page. Would you like to hear a story, Heathcliff? Josephine, that's that's the name. I wasn't 
uh, able to recall like fucking 30 minutes ago. Long time ago, Josephine told me a little tale. She said that there is a deep ancient uh, river flowing beneath this manor. Every architect said that this was not a good place to build anything, let alone a house, that nothing should ever be built on top of this hill. Withering Heights was built there nonetheless, over the unseen Hypoglene River. Ever since I was a child, I saw the ghost of my late mother. I guess they never did explain the ghost. So, you know, it's good that they are coming back to it. <laughs> to, to, to explain the ghost. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wandering the halls of this manor. Nelly, can't you see that ghost? I told you, miss, there is no such thing as ghosts. Why don't you take your nap like I asked you to? Oh, mistress. <sighs> Thankfully, I wasn't the only one who was seeing ghosts. I, Josephine, knew that you would one day return to our side. That the river flowing beneath these lands would bring your grace back to this manor. That should my duties at this manor be complete, you will allow me to drink the river's waters. And I've repeatedly seen that vision as I grew up. After Heathcliff left me, after I'd lost every will to live, Nelly brought me a mirror. Miss, I found an interesting mirror. It shows you some fascinating things. I suppose it is a magic mirror of sorts? Do, do we know, by the way, who gave her the mirror? I mean, I would kind of assume it was Gregor's mom or something like that. Like their, their group, group thingy. But I don't know. I, I'm not sure if they mentioned it. I thought you might enjoy such an invention. In that mirror I saw the infinite, infinite variations of Heathcliff and I. I pulled Heathcliff to an utter abyss of desolation. He grew cold and unhappy. Mart in an endless cycle of misfortune. Uh, it was as though his fate was already written to be miserable. No matter what he did, he would always meet an wretched end. Do you see that? I see another ghost. Miss, you are still very ill. Please do not let the chilly wind sicken your f you further. Isn't that... Uh, why does that ghost weep so tragically? And why does she appear so familiar? I must gaze into the mirror again, Nelly. I 
I wish to find that single strand of possibility where he could can be happy. So I gazed into that mirror night after night, night after night. Until the light began to tear in down my cheeks in place of tears. At the end of the ceaseless wailings, uh, I found a Catherine who tasted the deepest despair. You are no other Catherine with as terribly as you do, not in any of the words I have seen. Because in this world, I'm Heathcliff's murderer. We were just like you, desperately searching through every word we paired past the mirror. But in no world are Heathcliff and I together in happiness, our tale always ends in a tragedy. <laughs> the suffering is all that remains, I have nothing to live for alone, I have no reason to go on. Why can't Heathcliff be happy? Why can't any Heathcliff be allowed even the, an ounce of happiness? There is but one answer. That we are the cause of his misery, because Catherine's existence is what brings misfortune to Heathcliff. Every Heathcliff is miserable because of me. If I were to no longer exist in any world, will every Heathcliff in every world find happiness? Did she decide to go and kill every Catherine? Ah, uh, yes, he will. So it's not too late for the sake of every remaining Heathcliff in every world. Please invite us to your world beyond. So that we may kill you first. And move on to the next. To kill the Catherine of a different world again and again. Then. Only then can every Heathcliff reach his own heaven, the heaven where I no longer exist. It felt as a, though I was freed from a heavy yoke. It felt as though this was precisely what I was meant to do. Because I love every Heathcliff. Because he deserves to be happy. I have done as you ordered. I have used some of my connections in the best streets. To bankrupt Mr. Hindley, last I heard, he gambled everything he had away. I used Nelly, who asked her acquaintance to bankrupt my brother, then I took the ownership of returning heads from him. Don't worry about the results. We've gone we've done similar experiments in the past. It will all work out as long as laboratory is ready. 
Certainly, the laboratory will be completed as we have requested. The price is not a matter of concern. And, like I've told you repeatedly, this method will overwrite your identity with that one of another. With that of another. Which is to say that your body should be free of consciousness. We've learned from one of our previous experiments that full, complete identities can be summoned only when the body is empty. I installed a massive laboratory in our basement to invite Catherine to our world. I acquired the golden vow with the Linton's help, however, to summon a full intact identity to fully intact identity uh, is an incredibly power consuming pr procedure. A single golden vow won't be enough to power it. Lucky for you, we have recently procured ourselves a golden vow that was in first canto, right? Oh, this golden bow where once installed on the roof of your manor will collect all the necessary energy and relay it to the golden bow installed in the laboratory. You're so kind. What kind of payment do you ask in return? Not monetary, that's for certain. Instead... Allow us to make do dough, dough. That's all I ask. A dough? Yes. A pure, uncontaminated dough. Invite me, please, please. Hmm. The experiment should be complete soon. Nelly? Nelly? No longer fear the ghosts. Because all fear stems from the ignorance of its origin. Uh, maybe that's why I was so afraid of talking to Heathcliff. Because I could not know nor could I understand his ever distant heart. What I had thought to be ghosts were just us from the other worlds. Suffering in wretched pain, yet wandering the manner still determined to end my life. Now, after the lightning strikes seven times upon your coffin, the path to the other world will open, summoning the Catherine you want from the other world here. I'm certain that Linton will be happy. Because you are doing this for me, whom you love so much. Once this coffin closes, that is it. You won't ever open your eyes again. I know. But this is not the end. I will always be watching over you, wherever you may be.
your world is my command. Everything shall be as you will. Sweet dreams, my love. Oh, a Tao of such high purity can become pretty much anything. What I seek lies beyond that though, however, it's something more primordial, something at the far beginning of all things. But for you, I present a different Heathcliff. Not your Heathcliff, who left you without a world and doesn't even care to return, but Heathcliff who exists for Catherine and only Catherine. And the river that flows beneath your manor will be of great help to the both of us. It may be that your consciousness isn't lost forever, because the deepest river arrests, for, arrests them from moving on. Oh shit, what have I done? Uh, it may be that the consciousness isn't lost forever, because the deepest river arrests them from moving on. Perhaps you will have a front seat to everything that is to transpire. Heathcliff who exists just for me, what are you talking about? And why am I watching all this happen? Where am I? Can anyone hear me? Don't you worry, we will make sure that the re summoning ritual is a resounding success. And just in case you forget, remember to hold steadfast. Remember that all of this is for the good of Heathcliff, whom you love so much. The clock turns to revive Heathcliff, who stabbed himself with the golden bell. Catherine. That's the Catherine who wants to kill Catherine, right? Eventually, Catherine from a distant world is slowly pulled from the coffin the other Heathcliff is carrying. The golden vow that impaled Heathcliff began to return to whence it came. Back to where Heathcliff first tore it from, like it was meant to be. Huh? Okay. Every world, and that's a last stage. <sighs> huh? Bunch of bunch of enemies, huh? It's uh, it's a lot of enemies. Like different enemies. <laughs> Catherine, who Heathcliff desired so desperately to reach, she was walking out of the coffin, her eyes opened. Yet. No. The seventh lightning has struck. She's being overwritten by Catherine from a different world. Please don't do this to me, Catherine. I endured everything for you, everything at the manor, everything, everything I suffered out there. 
All I ever wanted was to see you again, to return to this manor, to meet you. The space surrounding Catherine, who is screaming and wailing, begins to vent and reflect as though something has gone wrong. Catherine? Why have you changed your mind? Have you forgotten our wish? You have spent countless days and nights watching how Heathcliff suffers, the suffering that he have inflicted, we have inflicted upon him. No. It's different. The only person who can tell me something like that is... Does it not matter to you what happens to every Heathcliff in every world? Are you truly so selfish that you feel detached from its consequences? I am Heathcliff. My greatest miseries in this world have been Heathcliff's miseries, and I have watched and felt each from the beginning. My great thought uh, in living is himself. If all else remained and we were uninhilated, no Catherine should seem a part of that world any longer. Katie, you are here somewhere. Where are you? The identity, something's gone wrong with the summoning. It's likely that Miss Catherine's will is intervening with the summoning. She's refusing the summoning? Do not obstruct me, summon me, if your love for Heathcliff is true. Am I... now I'm fighting the ghost? Like the ghost Catherine or what? She... what? <laughs> Cool, we got the song again. <laughs> All still targets Heathcliff wins the counter if Heathcliff dies. If the targets can't HP is higher than his units, clash power plus to deal my damage. Uh, heal SP on self. If lose clash against Heathcliff, lose SP, blah blah blah. If not at 40, minus 45 SP, heal SP. If panic, recover from panic. And then next turn and reset SP to zero. Turn on if this unit recovers from panic, can attack power up next turn. So I don't want to make him panic. This unit panic time does not change when inflicted. Maybe I shouldn't be using sinking team, huh? Anyway, he is using sinking. Unclashable. Who generate one wild hunt next turn, I see. And another unclashable that also generates wild hunt. Okay. I kind of want to save this because, like, I will be able to absolutely destroy that guy with this in the future, possibly.
Let's go with the weaker one for now. Maybe I should do this though, because I want to inflict the manner thingy. Yeah, I guess. Fuck off. Okay. Okay, they are both defending at the end of this turn remaining shield hp wait if the unit has remaining shield hp at the turn end lowers take a threshold by f wait that's that's good right gain 20 additional shield for every surviving ally Huh? Do I not understand? Wait, right. Lowering stagger threshold is right. I want right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. So I should probably try to bully Josephine somehow. But I will... Okay. I want to clash. That's no problem. This one should win? No. This one. This one should win. Yeah, favorite. I should have probably hit Heathcliff more. <laughs> oh, oopsie. <laughs> I'm not playing well. Won't be staggered. Okay, I don't want to use that on that guy. Oh, all right. Okay, okay, this is fine, I guess. Hmm. 
Oh, come on! Fucking hell. Okay, how does this work again? It feels like the count times uh, the other thing. Sinking count times sinking button, she then removes sinking. Ooh, maybe I should. How, how, how he is at panic right now, so I need to inflict it first if possible With this and then And then activate it And then glitch with the other guys I see. All oh, right, that's the one I cannot clash with. Okay, something like this then. Wait, what? No, not not something like this. Something like this. And I should feel like... Uh, it's actually not that much damage. I mean, it will still be a lot. Two hundred? Over two hundred, actually. Which is a lot. Okay, that's that's a lot. Two hundred damages. <laughs> lot. And he's staggered, I think, right? He was staggered. Why did I let this skill be the one that hits me? <sighs> I guess the guy's protection. Where did he get it? Huh, interesting. Whatever. This this song goes so hard. Okay, this is on Clash, so I will Clash this with someone. Okay, you can actually use this. Sinking count. I kind of want the sinking count more. I think. It's <laughs> 
Okay, dead. Oh shit, okay. What's happening here? Oh god, okay, that's the ghost gathering. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Okay, every Catherine, we got every Catherine. She has one whole HP. Uh, offense level down, breaking heart, clash loose, gain, breaking heart. Curse of sorrow. Okay. Um, what is breaking heart? Every synaphinity resistance is increased by value times 0 0.2 and free value becomes staggered when clashing against hits with clash power minus 3 and deal minus 50% less damage minus 50% less <laughs> double negative wins encounter if hit clip dies becomes staggered as long as becomes staggered as long as this unit's HP is at 1 the HP does not drop below 1 uh, if this, if the other hand is at 2 HP at the next turn, 2 plus HP at the next turn end, after the turn in which the, wait, what? if the other hand is at 2 plus HP at the next turn, after the turn in which this hand reaches 1 HP, this unit heals HP equal to 50% of the other hand's HP, round it down, okay. Fuck, okay. <laughs> I assume the other one will be kind of the same thing, right? Yeah. And what about this Catherine? Okay, she gains thorns. And takes 100% less damage. Okay, gains thorns. Turn end if both hands are at 1 HP become immobilized. Turn end if there is hand with 2 plus HP gain 10 protection. And all resistance values become 0 0.2. Okay, I just think I cannot kill her without getting rid of the hands. Protection expires, yeah. When clashing against Heathcliff, clash power, yeah. Can't change panic type if it if in panic reset reset yeah. Remaining shield value 104. So I should just get rid of the hands, right? Okay, I think I want to do this. Hopeless. Okay. Okay, I'll start with left hand. Because why not? Oh, come on. Are you fucking with me? Are you serious? Oh, that's actually a lot of damage. He's left to go to there. Is he? Wasn't that like the exact thing he's strong against? I'm dumb! That was the thing that gives the 
Breaking heart, I should have won that clash. I'm fucking idiot, I didn't read that, I'm so dumb. I decided that this is the best thing to let him hit me. Fucking hell. Dumbass. I'm fucking idiot. Neutral. What about something above neutral? Oh. Something like this looks fine. She still only gains thorns. Okay, I should start hitting the other hand now. Like, more. I mean, specifically. <laughs> I will only clash with this one now. It's no throw. I really need Heathcliff to be lower. <laughs> But I can't really let... I can do this. But, okay, I, I'll do both of these, actually. Right? I'll do it. Yeah, I will. I will. You can stop me. Okay, so let's these two hit this one. And everything else in here. Right? Good night. Let's go. Oh, I'm almost out of prints again. Wait, don't tell me I borrowed it. <laughs> no, I didn't, right? Okay, I dealt, dealt much more damage than I expected. Yeah, like, significantly. <laughs> yeah, deal damage to it. <laughs> right. Wait, Catherine, you're attacking? Shit, I didn't look. I expected her to only do the taunting again. Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? I suddenly realized that an unfamiliar voice is a contractory in my head. Is this is this sound coming through the uh, directed through coming through the uh, through the golden bow bow, bow bow bow? You hear it too, Clockhead? I turn around to look at Heathcliff. He appears exhausted from the prolonged battle, both in the body and spirit. The golden bow that once pierced to his chest was long removed after my clock turned. But his influence seemed to be lingering for some reason. Catherine? Heathcliff whispers. Catherine. Oh, <laughs> right. Listen closer. Let's listen closer. A frail, desperate voice echoes. The voice shudders so terribly. This is not at all what I wished for. No. I carefully ask the voice a question. So all of this is... I never wanted Heathcliff who exists for Catherine and only Catherine. I don't think she can hear our voices. I don't think she can hear our voices. All I wanted was for Heath, uh, every Heathcliff to be happy. All I wanted was to kill every existence of myself. Please someone help me. 
Can anyone hear me? I can shout, shout what we uh, that we can hear her. Oh. I really want Heathcliff to shout, but also like very high, you know, very high. This has actually so low chance. So yeah, fucking out this yell. Is there someone better? I guess this is better. Right? Wait, no. I, from this I need two out of three. Here I need two out of two. And here, here I also need two out of three. Let's go fish meal. Yeah. This is... The farm light of the golden bow begins emanating warm. Why did I say farm? <laughs> Warm light of the golden bow begins emanating from somewhere. Heathcliff, is that you? Y yeah, Katie, I'm back. I'm sorrow, joy, red obsession. I can feel the storm of emotion raging within Heathcliff. Oh, yet all is silent. I cannot hear his voice. The same emotions can be felt from Catherine's voice. Bloody hell. Cold slowly takes over the warmth as it grows weaker. I can no longer hear Catherine's voice. Tss. I knew that it won't be this easy. But Heathcliff refuses to let disappointment hold him back. Instead, he forges on with determination. The other sinners follow suit, prepared for battle. All sinners heal 10 SP. No! Heathcliff gains 2 haste for the rest of the encounter. All sinners gain 1 haste for the rest of the encounter. Yeah, destroy those fucking ants. You may wake in torment, my dear Ketrin. Clash power minus six in clash against targets with lightning of suffering. No one has that. Oh, you do. Uh, clash win inflict breaking heart and deal seven HP. Damage, a clash loose or attack unopposed. Uh, wait, clash loose or attack unopposed. Uh, gain breaking heart and take seven damage. Reduce one by one. It's I see. Okay, I see. I see. So I just need to win clash, which looks easy. Let's go for this one, since I'm stronger against that one. No one has sinking, so that's good. Let's do like the strong attacks for that. And I want to gain sinking, but not like sinking. I need both sinking and sinking count. I can only do that next turn. Okay. So I mean sinking. What is better for me now? Let's do this bullshit. I think. <laughs> Again, I will inflict. Wait, no, this inflicts both count and sinking, right? Yeah. Like significant amount. Uh, 
Does someone have... You have the lightning now? So you have to clash. Well, you, you want to clash anyways, because you are good at clashing. Or like you have on, on clash win things. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's absorb the sinking. To be fair, at that point he should be already panicking. I can do this, and, you know. Have well, <laughs> it's not really uh, useful to have AOE attack here, but I can do it. So yeah, I will, because why not? And then this. Because that's good to have. And then just fucking deal damage. Because dealing damage is also good. Okay, my guy is panicking. Now he will do some of the sinking. Wait, oh, right, or maybe it activated the thing that it won't. Okay, he lost all sinking now, fuck. <laughs> so close to staggering. Okay, now I want both sinking and sinking count, kinda. On my heat cliff. Uh, who is the one with the lightning key sunk? Uh, can you sinking deluge, but you know. Probably not good now, he doesn't have that much. Plus three count. Plus three normal. Uh, so this would be plus one. So it would be like 30 damage with the deluge. So, you know, I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I did the math incorrectly, by the way, but cool. What? Okay. She doesn't have the shield thing now. They don't have the thing I want to flash with. Okay, what if I do this? That would most likely work at least somehow. Somewhat, I mean. Wait, what? Unclashable, I see. Can I kill her? 
かする、うん、That's likely not, right? But what if I do? I'll do this. <laughs> Because I'm dumb. And I want to. And it won't do anything, but I'll do it anyways. Pure Butsy. Oh, come on. Fuck off. <laughs> no, it... Oh. Okay, I... Okay. My head fills with the voice once again. I ne uh, never should have summoned that Catherine here. I thought I, I thought every Heathcliff would have never have to suffer again if every Catherine were to no longer exist. But I should have known that Heathcliff would have thought the very same. I can feel her, her, her heartening sorrow. Ah, uh, I never should have fled. I should have talked to her instead of running away. Heathcliff was right. Every unspoken word, every unshattered discussion, every broke their hearts further, only broke their hearts further apart from each other until their v very. their words began to run parallel, never to converge. If only I could go back. Is there truly no way out of this trap that woman set for us? Heathcliff shouts. Just as Heathcliff began to speak, a shrill cry tear tears through our heads. Catherine, do not obstruct me now. We promised, didn't we? We promised to kill all of uh, us to that, so that Heathcliff may find happiness. That cutting voice is tingle, tinged with an odd warmth, like a different voice. No, I... Maybe the two Catherines are vivid for control. Being what? Uh, one of her colossal hands are twitching and stumbling. Maybe this is our chance to neutralize that hand. Let's do very high. Immediate Gregor immediately knew what uh, I was going for and leapt towards the hand. The, this can't be. Good, we got her off guard and neutralized the hand. I instinctively, instinctively knew that we were so, so close. Gregor heals. Every Catherine's both hands <laughs> gain two bind for four turns. Every Catherine's both hands gain two attack down for four turns. Okay, good. Oh, I guess I can go favorite for this one. Wait, this is the unclashable one, I see. And these are the ones I need, need to clash with. What the fuck? They even have minus two and I'm still losing. Okay, this one is winning. I mean, this might win, but I don't really want to use that. I mean, neutral. Neutral is the best I can do, it looks like. Or I could do mass attack, obviously. Wait. Oh, no, you have... Uh, paralysis. I mean, you can do it. Mm. 
Why not? Well, because I won't have envy after that. I kinda need to have envy. Do I have something that doesn't... This doesn't use envy, this doesn't use envy. I can do this, probably. Is that enough, though? Yeah, it is. Oh. Shit. Okay. I don't want to use Sinking Deluge. I don't want to use this as well. Yeah, okay. Fuck yeah. I'm using a bunch of ego this turn. Let's go for this one, just just go for this one, I think, yeah, possibly. Oh no, I should have gone for the other one. Wow. has changed. Did it. Come on, stop actually attacking. This is neutral now. It's neutral against everything. I mean, it will have higher chance. No, wait. No, it won't. Mm. Oh, I have two sinking deluges now. Okay. Okay, then. Oh, I guess I can't complain about that. No, but I'll... I yeah, I'll go with that. I think. Let's go for this one since that one has more HP and I kinda need them to die at the same time. That one is... The other one is dead. Or like, on one. <laughs> this one has 11. Okay, so I'll just have to let myself get hit by that. How is that struggling? I guess, I guess it is. Dominating. Which do I want to keep more? Probably this since that has count. And I think count tends to be more valuable most of the times.
All right, that's the mass attack, right? You'll get needless to long beating. No hands, huh? Shield value. Okay, do I have something that can win against? Oh, wait, unclashable? If all hands HP are at one, deal zero damage. All the hands are at zero. What? <laughs> Did... Oh, oh God. Well, let's use the weaker skills. Heathcliff will start panicking. Shit. I could use like the faust thing wait i can't oh i don't have last now seriously we have something that can use four envy this can use six but i do i it feels bad to do it but that way heathcliff won't start panicking Wait, he will anyways, since this will hit him. Oh, okay. Well, fuck. Okay. At least I don't have to worry about it, I guess. Come on. Wait, it will... Well, it will still hit, just deal zero damage, right? I think that's how it works normally. But it would still activate the sinking I'll have on me. And also, actually, I don't know if it counts when the hands are dead, since it only says when they are at 1 HP, but yeah, it counted. Well, this is super annoying. That's super annoying. Gain thorns. Should I be attacking them? If it has thorns? I think I should, right? Please, Catherine, appear before me and tear me asunder. Let me see your eyes. Ah! Deal damage equal to 100% of the target's max HP. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that sounds that sounds fine. At least he doesn't attack anyone else, right? <laughs> mm. 
아픔의 밑바닥 속에서 몸부림치기를. Damn it, this is Katie's coffin. It's so cold and dark inside. You remained trapped here all along, just for my happiness. You who hated the dark so so much. He's cliff with one HP. If only uh, I waited to hear your words to the end. If only I didn't run away. If only I approached you and talked to you first. What I with less, what a witless mess I am. But so you have broken free from the coffin, Heathcliff. Pointless. It's all pointless. You should have remained in there, suffocating in the worst regrets of your life. Shut your trap. I won't run anymore. Not here. At the end of all things. I know it's too late, but I will take this chance before even the this passes forever. Even if this chance, if this chance won't lead me to my happiness, even if path won't end up with your happiness because i know for certain that as long as our words are left unsaid no one will ever be happy i see you're right to wish for your happiness without even talking to you first out uh, of fear i i should have uh i should never have done that i was wrong i think i heard Katie's voice it fully heals SP. No! No! All sinners heal SP. It leaves determination changes to courage to approach. No, Heathcliff! Go back! They fucking hate potential man! They did may encounter only for this guy before, but now they just decided to fucking heal his sanity. Fuck off. What do you want me to do now? I can't... Okay, I guess I have to use Ego. This one? I guess. Just because I don't want... Wait, I cannot use this. I'm still missing glass. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, let's get this so I know what I can use. Only this one. Wait, unopposed. Alright, target fixed. Thinking deluge. I don't think this will work this turn still. Oh wait, you have okay. Let's inflict thinking count. This is like the first time I've ever used this ego. Yeah. 
Am I fucked? No, okay. He doesn't have the thing that has fixed target. But my Heathcliff just isn't able to do anything. Okay, Sinking Deluge is... <sighs> Not good. Oh. oh god, okay. Annoying. My god. <laughs> Rolls quite high, huh? But Potential man has no hope of fucking winning this because he decided to be at full HP. Fucking hell. Uh, I mean SP. Okay, I guess I have to do this. Neutral. Oh, favorite, I mean, favorite. All right, because I don't have enough of this shit. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. Yeah, I need something big for the first two. Yeah, I need something big for the first one. Okay. The rest are kind of fine, I think. Yeah. Is this win? I think this might be it. Yeah! I mean, unless something happens. Something's happening. Buddy sack. Faust if if things don't get any better what will happen to them Earl King Heathcliff once he kills Heathcliff of this world for good will leap over to other worlds to slay other versions of Heathcliffs if Catherine summoning succeeds, she will become another Catherine who lives between every world, creating more Catherines like herself. To what end? Okay, 
When and when there is nothing but the silence and the lamentation of both Heathcliff and Catherine, wouldn't you agree? Huh? There is a sound coming from my device. Your device? Which device? Do you mean your head? Oh, from Catherine's room. Catherine Dante. Oh, I see uh, what you write. I see that you write a diary of your own. Dante. Oh, right. That's, that's just the name. I wouldn't call it a diary. It's not like I record what happens every day in here. That counts as a diary still. It is a record of your life. Then I suppose it is. Catherine. Just before the break of dawn, during the quietest hours of the day, I would write my diary. Especially on days when I suffered from fevers, I could not bear to keep going without vomiting every, every fault of mine on a piece of paper. I was always honest with my diary. But... It seems that I could never be honest anywhere else. While I hid my true feelings from the ones I loved, while refusing to communicate myself, I became angry at those who could not understand me. Heathcliff shall never know. He will never know how much I... How much I... <laughs> no, I have to know. Heathcliff, how did you... I needed a lot of courage to get here. Catherine. It's also easy for you, for you to topple me. Uh, for you to ground me up until I'm nothing. I was so happy whenever you came to visit me. A single glance from you in my direction would brighten my entire day. You were almost like a calamity. And I have always, always... Always loved that very calamity that swept over me like the tempest, Catherine. Thank you for having the courage. Finally, our hearts. I'm no longer broken apart.
Dante, may I borrow your diary for a moment? The Golden Bow has far more impressive powers than any of us could have ever imagined. What powers? It has been bringing your own wishes to reality, has it not? So... So, uh, the key to my Heathcliff's happiness. It's in your diary. So I... Uh, looked down at the screen of the device I carried, something I used to think was nothing but a tool for recording things. What's my dad redoing? What? Don't touch... to start? Okay, I'm not touching anything, so start, right? No, okay, I think I'm supposed to touch to start. <laughs> or, or not. Okay, I'm not supposed to do it then. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh, that, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, okay, I'll clear all Kathy. That's very cool. Thank you so much for being the first one to talk, Heathcliff. I don't love every Heathcliff in every world. I love you as you are now. Was that potential man? <laughs> In every world of possibilities that may or may not have been. Every Catherine and Heathcliff of all words call out to each other, feeling the echoes of their partners. They struggle for the one last unseen embrace. <laughs> Where are you, Katie? I wish to have you in my embrace again. I have felt your presence all along. I knew you. I knew for certain that you have been haunting me. You lie not beneath the cold earth. You are beside me, are you not? Heathcliff, why do you refuse to embrace me? I have not broken your heart, you have broken it, and in breaking it, you have broken mine. Do come to me, Heathcliff, whisk me away and embrace me in your heart. The gust here is too cold, my body is turning into ice. Only by your warmth shall the frost thaw. 
millions of words made real by Catherine and Heathcliff began speeding as speeding by before us. Every possibility of Heathcliff and Catherine. Most an inner tragedy, full of suffering and lamentation. But among the infinity, I catch a glimpse of tranquility. Outside the manor, there are two gravestones marking Heathcliff and Catherine's final resting places. And in the desolate forlorn moon lurks uh, of Heather Wuthering Heights, Wuthering Heights. are two youths who each resemble Heathcliff and Catherine. Uh, they gaze deeply into each other's eyes, their mouths drawn into the sweetest, happiest smiles. The hearts connected, despite everything. They were... I see. I let my conviction blind myself to the other possibilities. Earl King Heathcliff's last words are hollow and bittersweet. Its echoes scatter into nothingness. Catherine begins to disappear from every world. As though she was never there. And when every Catherine eventually disappeared, millions of changing possibilities appeared before us. Mr. Earnshaw brings Heathcliff from the back streets. Hindley's scorn and hatred for Heathcliff remained the same. But without Catherine, Heathcliff had no reason to endure the suffering in Wuthering Heights. So he quickly moved on from Wuthering Heights. Every Heathcliff lived a different life, met, meets all kinds of different people, and lives on without Catherine. <laughs> Our Heathcliff watched as the words transformed. Each Heathcliff living a life of his own, and Catherine's existence slowly fading away from him. I would have understood if Heathcliff were to curse me with weeping cruel worlds. I would have understood if he were to grab and shake me by the collars. To erase someone's entire existence is an <coughs> unimaginably terrible thing. But Heathcliff was watching all of it in silence as if he wished to carve each and every single one of them into his memory. And... Finally, there isn't anything left. Nelly, are you taking the golden vow? Nelly stood, uh, stood atop the railings of the rooftop and gazed down at us. Uh, most sinners had fallen or were unconscious. In her hands, the, she held the golden bow that appeared to have been bright from the rooftop. But Heathcliff... You are a good 
kind-hearted boy, aren't you? I'm certain you understand. I suppose I will bring this to the one who first showed me the mirror shard. You know it's futile. You and your friends have fought battle after battle, pushed yourself past the brink of exhaustion. How will you stop a chief butler who has waited for this precise moment? They can turn the clock, but I will no longer be here once the hands turn once. Sure, I can stop you now, but... But I'll get it all back. The Golden Bow, my Catherine. Catherine, who are you talking about? I can say I understand what you are talking about, Heathcliff. I know. That name no longer means anything to you or anyone else. Nothing but an instant remains where she once stood. But she's never been clearer to me. So, so clear that I can never... It can never be erased. Well, if you are that desperate, then I hope you, your wish shall come through one day. It is said that the Golden Bow can make any wish, any heart come through. All that remained on the rooftop was a burned golden bow in the coffin. The golden bow is burned white. It appears that someone has made off with the other. Nelly took the other one, the one that's intact. She must have taken it to her. Herman. This isn't a failure. We'll get it back. Even if our hearts may be broken apart, if I give it my all, we'll be connected once again. As it did even in the world where we were both dead. Oh, I... okay. I thought... okay, that... I, I guess it makes sense. For some reason I thought the other sinners will remember her, but yeah, I guess not only us since we were in the diary, I assume, or something like that. Uh, is Catherine the name of the person in this coffin? I'm sorry, everything feels so foggy. The coffin and the person that lies within will be retrieved to the headquarters by the after team. I wanted to ask him if he was okay, but I already knew the answer. So many things had gone wrong. No, I'm still not okay. His glyph's one and only goal was gone. But Heathcliff was no longer trapped in a living dream. Perhaps that is precisely why he could open the door to 
see a new wider world. Not a single color remained in the silent withering heights once the tempest passed. All monochromatic save for patches of color. Those flowers are cold heat. The longest flowers that take root and bloom in the uh, wild moorlands, but there are also flowers that survive no matter what devastating tempest comes their way. They endure it all and wait. Wait for what? I don't know, the time, I suppose. That is when he will find it, oh, that's the name of the flowers. Well, that was, that was good. Carmen. Well, that had a pretty sad ending. Whoa, go after it, go. 
Oh, it took off. Where the bloody hell are you looking at? Well, maybe you should have told me that first. Another day, another distortion hunting in the streets of T Corp, as per LCD's orders. Looks like it didn't take too long for Heathcliff to be his usual energetic self once again. Oi, I told you to send them to send them this way. I'll smash your head in once this is over. Maybe he's gotten too passionate. Long time no wait. Why are you how do you still have color? He was by the way also in the credits. Uh I know so you know. I, I was kinda for just a moment thinking if he was talking anywhere in that chapter, but I guess here it is. Uh because the light is yet to reach me. Because the star is an unfathomable distance away. Do you like flowers too, Dante? Um, I think I've come to like them. Imagine that there was a single rose you have carried for a long time. Your room was already brimming from the sweet aroma of that flower. But one day you leave the rose behind to go on a long, long journey. In your journey, you come across a large garden, and there you see thousands of the very same rows you once. The same rows you once. cared for. Uh, that sight brings you to tears, and you drop to your knees. Where do you suppose that is? Why do you suppose that is? Sorry. Uh, Demian, he appeared before me in the past. He would always leave me with these cryptic riddles. But I'm starting to understand what his riddles are supposed to represent. Because I finally come to understand that the one I truly loved was the rose I'd left behind. Correct? Even though there are thousands of roses in this world, there is but one rose that is mine. You have watered it diligently, cared for it, even uh, as its thorns pricked your fingers so that your care makes it its aroma bloom. Oh, okay, Demian knows who Catherine is. I suppose that's how it was for Heathcliff and Catherine as well. Knowing that there are infinite Catherines and Heathcliffs in countless worlds, they wish not for the happiness of infinite Catherines and Heathcliffs, but for the happiness of each other, because to them each other was the one that truly mattered. But it would take most people a long, long time to understand that, because most people are foolish. To understand, once I learn to properly love my very own flower, I no longer need to protect the thousands of other roses in the world. People of this star care for thousands of rose blossoms in their own gardens, 
but still fail to find what they really desire. But what of the other flowers that has already bloomed? What happens to them? Damian smiled at my question. You will find the answer so that to that question yourself. When you can draw me a sheep. With that Damian disappeared. I heard a faint cry of a distant lamb. Uh, well, like, yeah, that was very good. Uh, quite, quite sad, but also, like, very, very good. <sighs> Well, uh, I mean, that's it, right? Uh, that was a long stream. That was a very good canto. I wasn't... I wasn't expecting it to be so good, I guess. I mean, I was expecting it to be good. Uh, but uh, it surpassed my expectation, let's say. And my expectations were high, just so you know. Uh, and still, still surprise them. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, again, that that will be it for today. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. This was uh, this was pretty great. I love this game. Uh, next time, you know, I might stream tomorrow. As I said, I I I I I maybe will. Who knows. <laughs> But yeah, I will be starting a new game because I just decided that, yeah, I might have like three different games that I started and haven't finished. But who cares? I'll start another one. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that might be tomorrow or sometime during the weekend or maybe next week or maybe it will be next month. No, probably not. It will be this month. I'm pretty sure it will be this month. Uh, I actually think it will even be this week, but I won't be promising that. Well, <laughs> I st I'll stop rambling. This was, like, quite long for me, at least. Um, like, over seven hours. Okay, well, uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for... Yeah, bye. <laughs> thanks for stopping by and bye, as I'll always say. Uh, bye. <laughs>